All right, listen up. In case you've been living under a rock, there is a comedy show happening at the historic Beltonian Theater in Belton, Texas. Friday, April 7th. Doors open at 6. Show starts at 7. This amazing theater has full concessions, so if you need beer, wine, pizza, popcorn, they got you. Listen, tickets are moving now already, so we're less than a month away. Show up and show out, because if this one is a sellout crowd, up to 140 people they said we can cram in there, then we're definitely going to be doing it again. We're going to make this a regular thing, rotating all of our local comic friends and even bringing some people from the outside. You never know. We're going to have to see what happens. The world is our oyster. Get those tickets now. Go to the Beltonian Theater's website. Find the event on Facebook, however you may get to it. Let's get them tickets up, guys. Commit crimes, follow your passions. That's what I'm saying. What's going on, everybody? My name is Jeremiah Red. This is the Basuda Triangle Podcast. We are coming at you live from Corky's which is Temple's number one destination for entertainment. Uh, my co-host here is Gary Sprague. Say what's up to the people. What's up, guys? How's it going? We have three mics. We have three mics now. We're, we're upgrading. We're moving up in the world. Cash app us some money, and we'll get some more upgraded equipment. Yeah. Maybe some kind of filter for Gary's face. I don't know. I, yeah, we'll just don't work that out. We we're do trying have to a... work out and it's trying to work. <laughs> get that chin going. Yeah, trying try to, try to develop it somehow. <laughs> Just a little gizzard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a very funny guest with us today. He is the Fuhrer of Flannel, the uh, Messiah of merch, if you will. Everybody's favorite comedian, Mr. Alex Cunningham. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. It's, I like that. The, the the Fuhrer of Flannel. That's so fucking good. Yeah, that is good because, like, uh, I mean, I know you didn't want to talk about Hitler. But, uh, <laughs> it was just inevitable. Not even yeah. 30 seconds in. Yeah. I mean, like, I walked in and I was like... You know, Gary's going to bring Hitler up at some point. And here it is, already right off the top. It wasn't even me this time. Like, it's the, the brown-haired guy. That's true, yeah. I should yeah. I should hate both of you. I should actually be taking both of you right now. Well, see, and, and that's what's weird. So, like, do you ever feel like Gary looks at you in a way just because you, like, you're, you're half Mexican, right? Half yeah, Mexican. half Mexican. Yeah, so he just kind of looks at you like one side of you. He's like, I'd fuck you up. Yeah, kind of. Ever since he found out, he's just been looking at me kind of like cock-eyed a little. Right. Well, like, that's mm. just his face. Like, huh. <laughs> that's just how I was born, guys. Yeah. Fuck just like, what generation American, you say? Right. You're born here, right? Right. You know, Paso, that's cutting it close, buddy. You got papers, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> Where's your papers? Let me see them. Uh, in a safe in Hawaii. <laughs> Throwback Obama joke. <laughs> Safest place for him. <laughs> yeah, apparently not Biden's house. Right. Yeah. Well, see, I like I'm so bad about like any like any of the politics stuff like I hear like the balloon. Yeah. Like everybody's talking about the balloon and like I don't know if I've even seen a picture of it. I've literally seen a picture of a hot air balloon that somebody wrote like in an Asian slang. This is not oh, uh, or this is a weather balloon, but like I could read it in an Asian uh, accent. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I don't even know if that's the real picture. Dude, the memes like. This is a generation where, like, oh, this is a serious issue. We're just going to make memes about it. That's where I get my news from is the most reliable source possible, the memes. Right, yeah, yeah exactly. If you see enough of them, you're going to at least have an idea of what's happening. Right, yeah. It, well, it, it's like, remember when we were young and it was, like, the, the little picture book, like, the, the mouse and, like, he would do all the adventures and stuff. And there was no words. That's yeah. true, it, was just, yeah. it was just a fucking storybook. And it's like, but now we have that as memes. And you just put them all together like, and you're like, all right, I figured it out. Yeah. yeah. So I'm always in the loop because of memes. Thank you, social media. Never thought I'd say <laughs> that. <laughs> Thank you, Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Meta was good for something. Yeah. Fine. That's why I don't like Instagram. There's not enough memes. Well, there's a lot of reasons I don't like Instagram, but I don't see enough memes. That's one of them. Yeah, that makes sense. It's usually just like this. I don't know. It's the algorithms because like I just see like titties and Same. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why? Well, you mentioned Hitler enough times. It's gonna <laughs> start showing up on your feet. The new Hitler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is what Hitler would look like if he started lifting weights. How much scarier would Hitler be if he was Arnold sized? Yeah. God, yeah. Well, no, I think you'd respect him more, right? Maybe. I mean, yeah. well, yeah, because like Hitler was kind of sickly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah I, was I mean, he, he had like syphilis and like his hand shook and stuff. No, he had like. He, yeah, he was on meth too to yeah. combat all. Like, if you look at the video of him from the 31 Olympics in Berlin, he's just like. 
I think we talked about this on your podcast. Yeah, yeah, he's just cracked out. And, yeah, you know, like, he's just like fucking. Yeah, his white's doing so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I feel like if he was, but like you would have to replace his meth with steroids. True. Then, oh, yeah. You know, then he could be. What would he be, Adolf Schwarzenegger, <laughs> or or would he be uh, Arnold Hitler? I don't Arnold know. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hitler. Or or maybe you just put the I in Arnold's last name. <laughs> and, and then you're like, all right, now I get the joke. I feel like he would just come up with a totally different name. He'd go by one, like, be like Cher, but like. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would it be if it all played out the same way? Because the reason why, I'm, I'm a history nerd, so I'm going to go on a bit here. The reason why the, the D-Day invasions were so effective is because he was, you know, high chancellor or whatever. Nothing moved without his say-so. And he was sleeping while we were storming the beaches and nobody wanted to wake him up. So by the time he wakes up on his own and they're just like, you know, creeping in the door, excuse me, mein Fuhrer. <laughs> it was already too late. By the time they roll the Panzer takes, we're already like halfway into France. Right. So how funny would that be if that played out the same way, but instead they didn't want to disturb his lifting. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's going for a new PR. It's like, should we, should we get to Fuhrer? No, he's going for a new PR. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that first uh, episode of Family Guy. You, do you remember that where he's in there and... And like uh, it's it's the Jewish guy who's real big and buff, oh, and yeah. he gets all the girls. So <laughs> it's literally I, yes, I can see that one hundred percent. Seth MacFarlane is a genius. He was on to something. Oh, absolutely. I mean, well, his goal was to offend everybody, not just one group. Yeah, he was like it. throughout the que- throughout the whole episode, he was like, "I'm gonna offend every little bit." Yeah. Well, that's why. Like, I don't, do you guys follow Family Guy at all? Not, not as any, much not anymore. Yeah, like so. I just I try and keep up with you know the episodes when they come out, but I didn't. I just heard something randomly like from Family Guy, and it was like in today's society we're not gonna make gay jokes anymore, and I was like that's like it's just such an odd stance because yeah. because they do offend everyone, and it's like that's the you know like of all the things that you guys say, it's like we're, we got to make sure gay people are happy. I mean, they're gay, they're happy. Like, well, yeah, means, they, gay means happy. That's like. true. Yeah, but I mean, like, just with family guy, like, it's just, it's such a strange, I mean, because it could have been, you know, like any other thing. Like, they make fun of, obviously, Joe is, is in a wheelchair. They make fun mm-hmm. of the fact that, yeah. you know, so like, paraplegics like they make fun of fat people because peter's fat you yeah. know like literally like anything that you could think of but they're like nah it's gonna be we're gonna stop with the gay shit well and like that it's like weird and like a lot of people want to dictate what you can do in comedy uh-huh. and they want to dictate what like what who you can make fun of right i'm like no everyone's on everyone's on the platter yeah exactly like, if you're not on the platter that means you're not equal right it's high quality yeah exactly it, it, like it, you're all inclusive i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna tear <laughs> apart every single one yeah. of you like, right exactly everybody's just saying we just want to be included all right yeah, where you right, go yeah. everybody's gonna get roasted then exactly that's like that's the america i believe in yeah. of course everyone of course. gets roasted yeah everyone yeah. gets roasted exactly yeah like i had uh i, I used to do these jokes about my dog and because like he got like his neck swelled up real bad and like he couldn't swallow so he was like drooling all over the place you know and like i just did this joke about how he's always you know like kind of retarded but he went full retard on me so you know like I, I was like something's wrong you know so I had to take him to the emergency vet and you know do all this stuff but it's like I got in trouble for that and I wasn't saying someone I was right. talking about my dog mm-hmm. and I was like I said he, he looked like he was straight out of Catherine Hamilton which is in, in my hometown like that's the you know the insane asylum oh, you know, oh, where, well, where people yeah. drool on themselves yeah, like, yeah. but, but they're like yeah that's too, that's too offensive you can't say that and well I'm yeah like, there was no retards in the crowd so you know, <laughs> <laughs> well no cause I guess somebody had a kid who, who is uh, mentally retarded yeah. and mm-hmm. they, they didn't like it but it's like I, lit- I was not making fun of your son I wasn't yeah. making fun of I was saying something about my dog yeah. you know but everybody's just want they want to get pissed off about something they want to. They want to have that moment where they're like, "Oh, I'm better than you because I can feel something about this sort of uh-huh. situation." Yeah, exactly. And like, and it pisses me off. So like, I'll get, I'll get frustrated. Oh yeah. Like, because people, people will be like, "Oh, you can't say this. You can't say that." But anyway, you're short as fuck. Yeah. yeah. And I'll be like, wait a minute. That's offensive to short people. Exactly. Yeah. But it's like, but you don't worry about that whenever it comes to me or when people are like, oh, you doing anything for Father's Day? Uh, no, because my dad's dead. But obviously I don't get upset about yeah. it. But I'm saying like I could. But I'm a realistic person. So I'm just like, nah, that's okay. You know, like they don't know. When I used to work at Walgreens, uh, sometimes I'd have to go help out like on the register because I work in the photo department. But regardless, like anytime I was in front of customers and whatnot, like Mother's Day and shit. They'd be like, oh, did you call your mom? Did you get her a big old box of chocolates? And just to keep the line moving, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, talk to her. Uh-huh. She's great, blah, blah, blah. But I just would have just uh, 
just fantasies about going unhinged to fuck with people. Like, right, yeah. Yeah, no, she's dead, but. Uh, oh, that, that's the best, though. And I, and I do that. I used to do that all the time. Like, I, I don't really, I don't feel like I get that question as much anymore just because, like, uh, I lived in LA for a long time. And, you know, like, so I'm not home and people you know like i'm in places where people generally are not home you know right, yeah. so it's like it's you don't very often have your whole family there so people don't ask questions like that but all the time i used to get you know like did you did you call your mom or you know doing this and i'd be like nah she's been dead for you know like this and just seeing the look on their fucking face yeah. and they're like oh i'm so sorry well at least you've got your dad <laughs> no. well you would think <laughs> Yeah, and like I love the discount. Double in town. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When in doubt, you gotta double down. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Like- Lee lied, even if one of them's still alive. Yeah, you, you have to, yeah. yeah. Well, and that, that's what was so funny, like, uh, coming up, like, in school and stuff, and people would be like, well, your mom, and I'd be like, my mom's dead. They'd be like, mine too. And I'm like, nah, like, here's my mom's death certificate. <laughs> like, Just sit out of your backpack <laughs> yeah. in a frame. <laughs> but, like, in a scroll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, also, here's my dad. Exactly. That's yeah. not a certificate. Exactly. That's a decree. Right. <laughs> yeah. I have a degree in death. <laughs> Suicide <laughs> division. No. If you experience two of them, you get this piece of paper and you just to shove it in people's face. <laughs> yes. And then they get offended that you witnessed too much. Yeah, and this is my – well, that, that's the thing too. I made jokes about, about my uh, dead parents and people were like, that's insensitive to people who don't have parents. Yeah, like that's I'm the person me. who don't yeah, have parents, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like what? You, why don't you guys just write down on a piece of paper what I can joke about, and I'll try. I'll just go from there. Right. Yeah, I had a. I had have one everybody night. fill out a form when they buy a ticket. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, uh, are you gay? Did someone die soon? Are, are you dying? Did anyone like, ever touch you? Yeah. Like. Who's ready for some knock knock jokes? Yeah. Do you like the color green? Like I just gotta know before one I offend like, somebody. No, I hate green. I fucking What's hate green. green. The well, guy who touched um, me. He was a leprechaun. Yeah. He, he was about as tall as you. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Did you touch me? You're like, yes, could you shut up about it? <laughs> yeah, choking your ass out. I heard through the grapevine that uh one of the open mics, some dude uh recently lost a, a close friend to suicide. And I was on my brother's suicide bit, mm-hmm. and apparently he got mad and left, saying it's along the lines of, like that's not something you joke about. I didn't hear it, so I would have been like, that that's that's my situation, buddy. Right, that is that is my brother. <laughs> I'm sorry about your friend. Don't get me wrong; it's a right, horrible yeah, thing exactly. to go through. But I wasn't saying you should do it. Yeah, I mean, like, we're not monsters. Yeah. Like I don't I mean, condone it. Like I made a joke about it, my friend who passed away in a car wreck, and uh, some girl was like, "My friend passed away in a car wreck too." I was like, "Then we have something in common, but right. it's not." It's not ground for you to be like better than me and try to like make it make a uh, moral high ground. Right. Like a All lot Gary of heard com- was I heard we have something in common. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's my dick. <laughs> you know how many times people have been like, I've seen Gary's dick. Dude, I fucking It was going around for a minute. I'm like, proud to say I'm one of the few that hasn't. I didn't either. I think my wife saw it somehow. What? Yeah, I think somebody showed it to her. No wonder she won't stop messaging me. <laughs> and Justin Marino, he was he's like, Gary's got a nice dick. Like I hate to say it, like, but he's got a nice dick. You hate to say it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, I don't want to give him the credit, but <laughs> like <laughs> Who would be happy to say that about somebody else? Yeah, because that like so if you've got a nice dick, like, does he not? So he's kind of jealous. I don't I've never seen it. I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably not. Well, because at one point there was one comic who did a video where she was like, I'm going to like rate dick pics. And I was okay. like, do you want me to contribute? And she goes, yeah. So I did. So you wanted to, though. She didn't ask you for it. You well, were like, do you want to see mine? Well, I didn't know it was going to get such a good rating. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought she was like, I'm going to leave that one out. But she like gave me a ten out of ten. I was like, hell yeah! yeah. And never then she feedback went to... before. <laughs> but then generally, she... it's just like stop. Yeah, it's really like, hey, this is church camp. Stop. <laughs> Put that away, sir. What are you... This is a plane. Like... <laughs> we don't work together anymore. <laughs> that was two years ago. Delete my number. But like, she went. She was around Green Door. She's like, anyone who's in Gary's dick, I was like, can you please not? Don't stop. And she was just like, no. I'm like, no, stop. Can you? Yeah, I've heard fucking... your dick has. A... And only fans, only fan, only fans. I wish. I be making some fucking money. No, no, no. Somebody else runs it, but it's, it's <laughs> yeah. But it's all the pictures yeah, that you sent to pictures. all the female comedians. Oh, the one? No, all of them. All yeah, the one. <laughs> it's not okay if you just blanket everybody with them, but it's okay if they do it amongst themselves. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Well, and see, and that's so the wait, thing, someone else is making. No, I I hate this conversation already. <laughs> Never mind. I'm having We're, a good time. Fuck you. So guys. upset. 
<laughs> yeah, I feel like that would be a very strange, you know, because it's like somebody stealing your joke, right? You somebody know, stole my dick. Right, somebody <laughs> stole your dick pic, which kind of is a joke on itself. Yeah. You know, it's like, how did you get it? Well, he sent it to me, so technically, you know, like, it was consent. Yeah, free yeah. sharing, licensing, whatever, kind of like what uh, – Facebook does it yeah. has a rights on your images. Yeah, exactly. Would you I like us to track your data? <laughs> the only time I need to track data is please get my dick pic back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my wife and I. We were having a conversation a while back because, like, any movie that I watch, I mean, in any movie. So I hope that there's women out here listening to this podcast right now that are in movies. Like well, that, that are in movies. Okay. Because I'm there's like two women that listen. <laughs> but get in a movie, ladies. Yeah. Uh, because a- any female in a movie that I see I google and I'm like has she done naked scenes and most of the time is no yeah. but does she have leaked photos ah. generally a yes dude have you ever seen Project Swordfish no it's uh, got Halle Berry um, uh, the dude who played Wolverine yeah, Hugh young, Jackman. Huge, young I'm pretty sure it's just called Swordfish not Project Swordfish. It, it Swordfish I know which movie you're talking about uh, Halle Berry's in there and she did a topless scene and dude I was too young to be witnessing boobs on in a movie and me and my dad were watching it together and like you just see him and he was like oh i was like oh and he was like i've been waiting for years to see those i was like i waited like 20 minutes in the movie like sick <laughs> you said you were too young to see it how when was, I was like, this i was under 10. that's not too young to see boobs no. well for a child i mean we're nah. pure. We're Puritans. It's America. Nah, just, I was going to say, because it's America, it's a perfect time to see it. I was going to say, like, I've literally been trying to see boobies, like, since I stopped seeing them. You know? <laughs> You're like, like, I stopped feeding. So yeah, like, I was like, yeah, I was like, preferably not my mom's again, you know. By the like, time my stomach started grumbling, I was like, where are the titties at? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I like milk straight from the tap. <laughs> but no, nah, I like, I don't, I don't think, there's no such thing as too young for titties. Oh, yeah. I'm, that's going to that's gonna be my new <laughs> Hogan, never then, too young for titties. It's a t-shirt. Yeah. I'll buy it. <laughs> That'll be the one that I buy. And then Deshaun's going to buy four of them, and he's going to wear it. And, <laughs> and he's going to be like, no, Deshaun, that's how you go to jail. Right, yeah. We know your intention. Yeah, yeah. you can't wear it to school. <laughs> like, there, there's a difference. It takes a different meaning. Then. Yeah, time and a place, buddy. How do you guys feel? Because like it's, it, I love you know that like you and uh, they said I'm funny. You guys have this like rivalry. Podcast. Oh, we do. Oh yeah, yeah. They are obsessed with me. I know. Like, and they, well, I knew that part. I didn't know we had a rivalry though. Yeah, because yeah. I'm making it. We're right now rivalry because yeah. they like. Fuck you guys. I, we're doing a podcast beef. We're doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I'll be at the gym and, I'll, and that's like when I'll start listening to podcasts because uh-huh. like I have all this extra free time and I'll be listening. I'll be on the treadmill listening to say I'm funny, and then they're like, "Gary, I'm like, Tomorrow. can you get out of my head? <laughs> like, You're you, like what? The voices like, are back. <laughs> the, the voices in my head are now Adam and Justin, <laughs> and Adam just talking shit and Justin going, oh, I, I kind of like him. He's a, he's a good guy. Like, yeah. I'm like, thank you, Justin. Like, <laughs> Adam Wolf, you can go fuck yourself. He probably does, too, with that yeah. dildo. Yeah. We know he's got it. Hey, he, he said he wanted it for Christmas, so I'm a, <laughs> I'm a good friend. Now, so we were talking about merch and stuff. Have you guys ever considered, I know you're married, Gary, maybe one day, but have, have you ever considered doing, and it would be so funny because I told my wife that I wanted to do this, you know, like the clone of Willie? Oh. Have you ever seen those? Oh, you think the mold of your dick? I know what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. 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 Have you ever thought about doing something like that and like just selling it? No. Now I will. You have. Well, well apparently okay, you got the yeah. fucking hog going. I was gonna on. say, Why don't yeah. you? Well, no, it wasn't big. It was nice. Uh, the nicest dick in Central Texas. Yeah, <laughs> it was like like the vein to hair ratio it was perfect. <laughs> oh, dude. dude. Dude, this, this guy moisturizes. <laughs> Are you circumcised? Trimmer, yeah. Are you? Yeah. The self-circumcised? Oh, no. <laughs> no. I don't trust myself with the sharp objects. <laughs> I was born in Germany in the 90s. They were like, he's good. He's good. <laughs> <laughs> Tear down the wall and cut that dick off. <laughs> yeah, Germany was real weird back in the day. No, no uh, clone of Willie for me, but unrelated. Well, slightly unrelated to being married. I do... She hasn't come around yet, but I want my wife to okay me promoting my comedy on Tinder. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think that would be a hilarious idea. Are you on Tinder? No. Oh, so, like, just simply create, like, a, a Tinder profile for comedy? Yes. That would be phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, that's how I used to promote uh, I think like it'd be bands. Fun. Yeah. Now, 
you will get an unsolicited dick pic from Gary. <laughs> I promise. Probably. Yeah, I'm surprised no, no. I haven't already. Oh, Actually, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought you were cloning uh, Willie. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you want what it is? Yeah, if I get the picture, I'm going to clone it. Yeah, yeah. 3D print it. Just to let you know. Put your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> Just etch it. I, I don't know, like, because, like, so I think that thing where you, you like, you fill this tube, and it's a really... It, like plaster. Yeah, yeah. right. And, and then it hardens around it, but it's like, I don't know if I could keep an erection inside of, like, a, yeah. a tube. Oh. Dude, you know? take one of those gas station dick pill. Yeah. Does it work? I hear it works. You've never, I've never. No, so I haven't either. Uh, a friend of mine, we were sitting at a gas station, and he was like, he like looked at the guy. He goes, "Do those pills work?" And the guy behind the counter was like, "Fuck yeah, they work." I was like, "It's like I'm on one right now. Why do you think I'm a <laughs> foot and a half from the <laughs> register?" He said, "Watch, this is how I close it." Yeah. <laughs> I gotta reach over to fucking ring it up. <laughs> but like, <laughs> so we bought them, and there's it was two pills, and like. Uh, he he took one, I took one, and we went to our apartments. And I got a call at like 12 in the morning. Dude, it won't go down. <laughs> Dude, like my air conditioner kicked on and the breeze hit my dick and it won't <laughs> go down. Gary's yeah, like, don't worry, I'll be over in a sec. Like, I'll get it I got down. you, buddy. And I was like, dude, I've never jerked off so many times in one night. See, and I'm yeah. like, it won't go away. Now, I have heard that like – uh my brother, when he was in high school, he had a friend who, same thing, just, he wanted to do it just for the fuck of it, you yeah. know? And, like, he messaged my brother and was like, I've jerked off, like, 12 times <laughs> trying to get this thing down, and it's so raw, it hurts. It, it, it hurts, and, like, you're like, there's two sperm left, you're like, please don't, no! <laughs> yeah. You're just gonna deplete everything, and it's gonna just die. Yeah, it just, you just squeeze it out, and eventually you're just like... <laughs> that's, what right, your, that's, it. that's what your balls are gonna look like, like the the cake icing topper deal. Yeah, <laughs> looks like two raisins just hanging out there. <laughs> There's now, nothing left. You're circumcised, mm -hmm. right, or not circumcised? Uh, fucking. Oh, I am. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, what's that called? The vasectomy. Uh, yeah, your vasectomy. Vasectomy. Mm -hmm. uh, is that? I don't know how you say it. I don't know. It's the past tense. But vasectomized. Well, oh, I like that. Yeah, if that's not a word, it fucking is an app. You should put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> if I was single, I would. Hey, babes, I'm vasectomized. <laughs> it just sounds so erotic. It does. So many guys are going to buy that shirt. And yeah. They're not gonna and they're not, yeah. They're not going to pull out. Yeah. They're not going to be. But, no, don't worry. Like, I don't have to pull out. There's like so many babies. Yeah, look, I'm vasectomized. <laughs> but like, would you be getting vasectomized by me if I was vasectomized, giving it to you? Like, not a vasectomy, but just, like, fucking you. Like, are you being, getting vasectomized? No, you're just getting fucked. Yeah, I think it's just getting fucked, man. But but what if it was, like, a, a sodomized, vasectomized? <laughs> like Clear that. eyes, polarized. Yeah. <laughs> like, the, monopolized. This, this, yeah, like this, an anal cream pie. But... This is the start of a really bad rap song. <laughs> <laughs> it really says you, bro. We're dropping bars over here. I'm sorry you couldn't contribute. <laughs> the looks we're getting from the bar. Like, what is happening? Mel hates us. <laughs> She's like, we gave them an extra mic, and now they do this. <laughs> and now they're doing anal cream pies? Well, see, on They Said I'm Funny, I was doing uh, knowledge cream pies. Oh, yeah. You know, so, like, it's just, you, you, you got to keep the cream pie, well, you that's know? That's true. It's, it's, it's one of America's favorite snacks. And you that's can true. only see it if you put your phone in incognito mode. That's, exactly. <laughs> that's where the truth comes out. But so, when you're, well, you no longer have semen. Sure, yeah. Thank you. You don't have semen anymore, but you have right or you have semen, but not sperm. I'm. What is the? You have like the, the liquid, but not the sperm, right? Doctor Sprague over here. No I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I still have like full ejaculation. It's, it's not potent. There's nothing in it. It is. Is the color different? No, it's the exact same. Like what? it's still it's still white. Yeah. It's like See? it's all the same stuff. Now, okay. So maybe maybe I have an issue, because like <laughs> if I don't have sex for a couple days and then I come and it's like it's thick and like you know like pasty mm -hmm. you know yeah. and, and I don't mean like I don't mean like oh you can spread it I mean like it's like jellified okay yeah you really That's need just to stop sleeping with girls other than Alexa <laughs> <laughs> it burns a little <laughs> No, so like I just I wonder like what what does that come from you know because I knew that I know that you you dropped out of med school but I don't know if you made it that far. I never even went to med school. I don't know where you got that. <laughs> I didn't even so go to high school. So basically, I'm not nearly smart enough for that. The juice and the swimmers come from different areas, oh, from what do? I understand, right? And they okay. kill the intersect. Gotcha. See, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. So I didn't realize. Yeah. So it's like they they. So you literally just like if you could. If you could just pull the semen out of your tube, it would just like literally. There's no like, 
there's nothing for them to swim through. Yeah, From what I understand, yeah, they're like they're like you know microscopic. Yeah, well, I hope so. Yeah, there's a tube on either side, and all they do is they just cut it and then clamp them and uh, cauterize them. Okay. And then just kind of tie them off. Yeah. I, I'm told that I got a sailor's knot here and a bow tie on this side. Okay. <laughs> and they made a pants for you. <laughs> I was awake during the whole thing, though. Yeah, see, fuck that. No. Well, they numb you for it. And the numbing part was honestly the most painful. Yeah. Because you feel a sting, and then it, it feels like somebody's squeezing your ball because they have to do it on each side. Mm. But only for, like, 30 seconds. Oh, so so they actually snip both sides for real? Yeah, you got to do both. I didn't know that either going. Yeah. I thought it was just one and done. Yeah, so The lady was like, no, we still got to do the other side. I was like, oh, shit, okay. But it wasn't that bad. I was cracking jokes, but not too hard because I didn't want the lady to laugh. And yeah, you wouldn't want to be too hard when you so yeah, so yeah, the doctor just simply did not have a sense of humor, which I guess in hindsight was good, so I didn't get, like, you know, jammed up. <laughs> but the nurse, dude, this is some older lady. She was dying. Yeah? I inadvertently got her to tell me a story about one guy who, because, you know, there's a fetish out there of, like, getting your ball smashed or, like, pain down there. Gary, you know no. all about it. Gary's Look, he, he's hard right so now. Keep the thing away from me, bro. <laughs> he said, "I just took the gas station." <laughs> you can see my waist from down here, so stop looking. Yeah, cover up for a couple minutes, would you? Yeah. I don't want to get censored by YouTube. <laughs> you just shut us down. Fill that pocket. You but no, got on that uh, uh, the old lady basically, in no particular words, admitted this guy. Like, as soon as it started hurting, he came. Oh shit! Jesus. I was like, Jesus, lady. She's like, Yeah, it was wild. I was like, I bet it like, was. Yeah, like, could you imagine that? Like, you she's go like, home to your husband and it's like, How was work today? Well, some guy came in my face. <laughs> like, did you switch jobs? Because <laughs> she's like, That's how we had our third kid. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, sorry, wrong job. Like in the other guys, where he's at Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah, there's a couple of rapes in uh, Central Park. Oh, sorry, that's my other job. But <laughs> maybe traveling pairs. But no. Um, because I, I, I'm i clean shaven down there, but they still shave you anyway. Kind of like a tattoo artist. I don't care. They'll just go over it anyway. Right, yeah. And she Make said, sure you get razor bumps. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but she said that the dude was like kind of acting a little fidgety when he was getting shaved. And then, yeah, once things started hurting, he just couldn't help himself, I guess. He was just like, <laughs> I, I don't even like, I know the medical field. There's so many weird things that happen, you know, oh, yeah. like uh, Dylan Pop. We all know Dylan. Shout uh, out to he, him. He, well, fuck you, Dylan. Fuck uh, you, Dylan. He, uh, he always tells me about the weird shit that he has to do, you know, like being oh, a yeah. nurse and Wait, stuff. Yeah, fuck you, Dylan. You never told me any weird shit. Yeah, you That's piece the of first shit. thing I ask when I go into a new doctor's office or an, I meet a nurse or even like tattoo. I'm like, all right, give me the weirdest story you got. Oh, yeah, it's right, always yeah. the funnest story. I know that's cliche and they get tired of hearing it, but. I don't care. Right. Like, yeah. also, you don't want to be the weirdest one. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But afterward, they're talking about you. They're like, nah, this fucking guy came on. Oh, me. I know. I've been a weird guy in some stories before. This yeah. guy, he like, I was tattooing him and he shit I've got some weird. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I didn't graduate, but I did my EMS course and I, you know, my rotations, I saw some weird shit. Yeah. 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 See, I, I don't know. I was like, I feel like I've, I've just been super like, just normal my whole life Not, nothing crazy you yeah know? nothing like, crazy not the double parent suicide well but nobody saw that you know what i mean like okay like, i got you yeah yeah like, like, yeah nothing weird about that. <laughs> yeah but it's like i didn't go in somewhere and i'm like i've got a size 10 shoe stuck in my asshole <laughs> you know like because yeah, well, you would remember that yeah like, that's true that's fair i like i i've got weird tattoos and like that's the weirdest I get, but I've never had like a weird issue oh, where like I had to go to a hospital. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Where like I was like, oh yeah, like me and this girl got freaky, and then like her hand's still in there. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Where is she? Oh, the hand is still there. She's not there. Anymore. Right. <laughs> yeah. That, now you'd remember that. Yeah. That, that when you'd ask, what's the weirdest thing? Well, I had to remove a hand from an asshole. Yeah. And there was nothing attached. To yeah. Hand. Just a hand. Oh, it was a rubber fist. No. No, it was a human it was hand. Fleshy. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know where she is. <laughs> <laughs> Probably in Lake Belton. If I were to guess, there's a spot. Wait, actually, I, I have a story um, from my EMS days where I was the, the pain in the ass patient. Uh, the first time, because I tried it twice. Um, the first time I did it, like I messed up my shoulder real bad. But it wasn't actually my shoulder. It was like uh, a tendon, like right under the armpit. And I kept wanting to get it looked at. And they kept saying, describe your pain. I'm like, well, it starts on my shoulder, but then it shoots across my chest. And even over the phone, they're like, no. I'm like, what? They're like, if you have chest pains, you have to go to the ER. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm not having a heart attack. This has been going on for like a month. They're like, oh, I'm sorry. If you have chest pains, you have to go to the ER. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So one night I said, screw it. I'm going to go and get, you know, x-rayed or whatever so they can figure it out. And uh, I don't know. I guess I drank too much water or something like that because I'm hooked up to all, all the shit because they're doing the heart attack protocol. Right. And I'm sitting in there waiting to go to x-ray for like two and a half hours. Jesus. And I don't know what it was, man, but like it was cold in the room. I had drank a shit ton of water because, you know, I'm a hydro homie. Uh, to offset the beer, 
And I just, every 20 minutes, I was like, I feel bad because I have, I kept having to call the nurse to come unhook me so I can go piss. <laughs> Why didn't they just catheterize you? I don't know. They probably thought about it. Because that's extra two grand. And, and one time I, I, I hit the buzzer and I hear her in the hallway. She's like, I swear to God, if this is room, whatever. And she's like, oh. <laughs> So a couple days later, I'm, I'm, uh, it's, it's the weekday now and I'm talking to my homeboy. We're chopping it up in the EMS class and he's got a girlfriend that works in the ER and we were just shooting the shit back and forth. She's like, yeah, there was just like one dumb ass that was in the ER. He was like hooked up to all kinds of stuff. We had to piss like every 10 minutes. I was like, that was me, that dude. Was me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her I'm sorry. They yeah. made me go. I knew it wasn't a heart attack. <laughs> what awesome. did it end up being? Uh, I've got a real bad, uh, like, uh, inflammation, like tendonitis, like, somewhere in there. Oh, okay, okay. And so I just like, got to so, live minor. with that. Yeah. Don't use a gas station pill and jerk off <laughs> not Well, not with my left, anyway. Yeah, just, <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, both exactly. hands. But yeah, when, it, when I, like, strain it, that's what it feels like. Like, it hurts up here, and then it, like, shoots across. And so not maybe one day it will be a heart attack, and I won't recognize right, it. Right, yeah, you'll be like, nah, I just and jerked off my shoulder, and then I'm fucking dead. <laughs> my wife loves when I say shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. <laughs> She's going to find him dead. Like, God damn it, he jerked off again. <laughs> <laughs> he was hanging out with Gary too much. Yeah. <laughs> the gas station pills boofed him this time. <laughs> it's always funny. Like, uh, I feel like those have heart issue. Like, like, like those gas station pills, they would probably cause a heart issue. Well, oh, fuck, yeah, because they're taking all the yeah, and they're taking all the blood and shoving it into your dick for four hours. Like, and isn't there like caffeine in there too to like speed it up? I probably. think so. And yeah. like, well, I mean, yeah, I didn't sleep a whole lot that night. Like, <laughs> so I think so. You know, I have firsthand experience. <laughs> like, I'm really not sure what happens. No, eventually, you just like you come enough times, you're like, I'm ashamed of myself. Like, Do you know how many times you came. That night, or just in general? <laughs> I don't think you fucking tally it every time. Oh, I can like, tell you. I started at <laughs> nine years and six months. So 1,400. <laughs> You've seen all those dots on his like sleeve in between. <laughs> every time he's like marking out, he goes in and he's like, hey, Joe, we're going to need 14 more today. <laughs> today? Dude, leave it alone. Let it go. <laughs> She's not coming back. It's okay. He said, you're going to want to sit down so I can tat you. He's like, can I stand up, please? <laughs> it hurts to sit at this point. <laughs> I do come by pushing on my own prostate. So this has uh, got me thinking, uh, oh, what's y'all's favorite position to pee with a boner? Because there's oh, different ways to handle it. See, like, I can't sit down because I hit the toilet. Right. Right. So, like, I just stand up and just push it down. Yeah, just yeah. Like, force it in uh -huh. there. Uh-huh. Yeah, just... Just kind of, like, arch your hips backwards and... Now, but do you guys... Do you do this? Uh, like, whenever you pee with a with an erection, Mel, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you'll pee, right? And then you'll be like, oh, there's a little more, and you'll push it, and it'll fucking spray across the room, like, hit the wall. I have had that happen before. Yeah, and, well, it, like, it, like, comes up with you. You're like, what the yeah. fuck was that? Or like those more those morning moments where you start peeing, it's two streams. Oh, oh yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, yeah. and neither one hit the toilet. It looks like a hose, and you just put your thumb over it. It's like <laughs> yes. you're like, oh no, I actually have to clean the bathroom this time. <laughs> yeah, well, see, uh, that's I'm like, I tell my wife, like, ah, I think the bathroom's dirty. <laughs> you just went to the other bathroom. Yeah, she, like, she never goes to that bathroom. Oh, which one? The beat lab. <laughs> the beat lab. The beat lab's a little moist. <laughs> It smells like asparagus. Right. It's always so sticky. Oh, God. <laughs> it's well, Mr. Clean. You guys ever feel accomplished when you pee and it's like super clear and you're like, I'm hydrated as fuck, bro? Yeah. I used to. Yeah, but I just don't pee clear anymore. <laughs> I'm like, literally, like, I'm a, I piss in the shower all the time. That's true. That's good. You know, and my wife, we shower together and all the time, <laughs> she's like, why does your pee smell so bad? And I'm like, I don't know. It's I your just... diet, bro. <laughs> yeah, She's it's... like, I just washed there. Thanks. I got to go over it again. Yeah. You're like, hey, you missed the spot. <laughs> you guys, well, you don't. Do you pee on your boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever, do you pee on your wife? I do not. In the shower, you don't? No. We really? hardly ever take showers together. Why? She doesn't like it. Really? She's like, she, she's like, when she's in the shower doing her thing, she's in her own zone. She's fucking singing. She's got like 16 different shampoos and body washes and. So we have two options, right? Because we have, you know, two full bathrooms. We have my shower, which she hates already because, number one, it's a little, it's a little cramped. Yeah. It's a little personable. But it's also got the top-down dealio. Okay. And she does not like that for whatever reason. And, of course, she's got her custom shower head for when I'm not hitting it right. I'm kidding. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so we can go into hers, which is your typical bathtub scenario, and then it's coming oh, out. So, so you guys have two totally different showers that you use. Yes. Interesting. So if we, and I mean, we've showered together before in both of them, but like in, in, in my experience, time. yeah, 
<laughs> at the same time. And uh, if we're in her shower, now we're like single file, like she's getting all the water and I'm just standing there freezing my nuts off or we right. switch around, she's over there freezing her tits off. And okay. It's just, it's kind of a mid experience as the kids would say. Yeah, see, I don't know. Cause like my wife, like she, she's a, a water hogger, if you will, yeah. you know? And well, you guys but, are also both like pretty skinny, so. Yeah, but she, like, she's always cold. So she's like, I just want the hot water and I'll just stand out of it. Cause like, I'm just, I'm hot by nature, you know? So I'm like, I'm fine. Like it, it doesn't bother Same, me. Same until I get wet. <laughs> right, no, I, like I'm still fine. Cause she, she cranks that shit up so high. Oh yeah, that, you, you get steam sauna. E exactly, like yeah. I'm sweating. And like, I'm, yeah. I haven't even gotten wet yet. See my know? wife, she takes, not cold showers, but they're like a little higher than warm. Okay. You're, she's one of the few, that's a rare I know. moment. Is, I know. Yeah. That's why she's got such nice hair. I know. Yeah. yeah it's because she doesn't burn it off. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. My wife's always like, why are my ends dead and split? And I'm like, because you fucking roasted them. You're like, have you, you ever seen them. the third Star Wars in the prequels? Remember that lightsaber battle? That's the kind of shit you're showering in. <laughs> yeah. And she's always like, sorry, I'm hogging the water. And I'm like, it's fine, you know, whatever. But like showering together, is just, it's just, it's so, it's nice because it's like, who the fuck's going to wash your back? Yeah. That's true. That is nice yeah. to have your Gary's back, back is so dirty. <laughs> I bet like, it is. <laughs> no, I got the loofah with the stick. Like, I'm good. Yeah, but see, where he holds it is also dirty because that's where he fucks himself. <laughs> yeah, I live, I, he live and learn. <laughs> you <laughs> gotta wash that side first. Do you really have a loofah on a stick? I do. Is I it, is, what's the fabric on the end of that? It's just like a loofah. Okay, It's cool. like, like those natural loofahs. How old is it? Two weeks. I just bought a new one. Okay. Gary, he, How old was the old one? Yeah, I feel like this is rehearsed. He's like two and a half years. <laughs> Yeah. Couple months. Couple months. <laughs> he said oh, all the bristles were wore down. It was just the stick. Yeah, that's what I wanted because some of them there, it looks like a fucking sponge on a stick, but some of them yeah. they have bristles. Which what, what are you rocking? It was like the the natural loofahs that you see, where it's like the plant that you can yeah, cut. The, yeah, yeah, those are cool. Those are expensive too. Yeah, I, like, I, I try to keep myself nice. Yeah. So you can you, yeah. can, you can cut with it. No, you can't cut with it, but it's like it's, to cut. It's like a it's they're very just coarse. Yeah, it's it's a plant that like you peel the skin off oh, and and it looks like yeah. a sponge. It's like a scrub daddy. Dude, why are you gonna pay all that money when you can just go outside and like fucking spear a jackfruit or something or a cantaloupe and just go to work? They with don't it? live you in know? Cambodia and we don't grow, grow jackfruit. You're right, outside. cantaloupes, Cambodia. It's the same shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, do you so do you live alone? Yeah, you do. Like yeah. totally, like totally, no roommates, yeah. nothing. No, yeah. That's so fucking weird. I mean, like, I used to, you know, before I got married. But, like, it's just such a weird concept because it's like, how do you, if you're like, man, I got this pimple on my back. Like, what the fuck do you do? That's what the loofah's for. The loofah pops your pimple. No, no wonder it was so fucking expensive. <laughs> the loofah keeps you clean. So he's got a camera, don't get the... Bluetooth. Yeah. Well, and actually, yesterday I did have a pimple on my back. I'm not going to lie. And I sat there and I was like. Doing this, uh -huh. I was like, I gotta go to the gym so I can like get more flexible. So you can get a gym, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, can you spot me? He's like, we're in the bathroom. Can <laughs> you just see that big ass white head though? Spot right here. He's like, again, dude. Like, stop. <laughs> like, at least it was on the back this, this time. This is like special effects makeup. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm very fortunate. Well. Sort of. When I was in high school, I had really bad acne in the face. I still have scars from it. I kind of look like Ray Liotta up close. Um, but I've <laughs> never had a zit on the back. That's good. Never That's, had back knee. Man, so. see, I, I get, like, it's not bad. Well, I get, like, in my waistline. You know what I mean? You know, like. Interesting. Yeah, it's because I sweat a lot in my yeah. waistline. Okay. I don't know why. But, like, so, like, the, I'll, I'll try and squeeze it, and it just fucking swells up. And I'm like, all right, well, that was a, a horrible. Oh, it's decision. not ready. It's not potent enough. No, it's because it's like... that skin likes to invert. Oh, So okay. you just squeeze it, and it just swells up more. Yeah. And it's like, oh, all right, Jesus. well, good. Now I'm going to fucking sit with this for three days. You're going to end up on one of those, uh, like, YouTube videos where they, like, pop, like, 14 pimples on it. No, I just cut it open. <laughs> uh, I can't do those, dude. No. Oh, my God. No. I don't cut it open. I like, remember the first time I had a pimple in the nether region. I was like, oh, God, I have herpes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you, like, just shaved. You're like, oh, no, something happened. That razor gave me herpes. And you're like, <laughs> no, it's ingrown hair. Chill out. Yeah. No, ingrown hair, like, it's so, well, I my balls are gray. Like, they're going gray, which is really weird. So, I'm like. like the hair or the balls I, themselves? The, the, <laughs> the skin. Okay. The, the skin. You just going said gray. my balls are gray, but I'm like, <laughs> that's probably just a medical dying. condition. You, you should get Dylan to look at that. <laughs> if you play D and D, it'd be like Alex the Gray Balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, like a it, Skyrim character. <laughs> <laughs> See now I gotta start playing just so just like I don't even know anything about it, but just to make that name. Alice Gray Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's that's a bit you could do. Yeah, well, and, and it's weird too because like uh, I've met 
several people, uh, we, I met some really good dudes in here and, uh, they're gay. So they, they know each other's balls. And right. I asked him, I was like, does he have gray hairs on his ball? And they're probably in their, their fifties. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no. And I was like, does he? And he's like, no. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? I don't think I've ever seen gray pubic hair. Yeah. Like, are my balls stressed? <laughs> you know? Like, is that what marriage does? It stresses She's your like, balls I got a baby out? face, but man, my balls. But my balls are old aged. as fuck. Not your like fine like, wine you, either. Your doctor's like, all right, your blood, your blood work is really good, but you have some balls with 85 years old. <laughs> his wife's going to walk on it. Walk in on him using just for men on his pubes. Right. <laughs> you can't really Touch of gray, that. baby. Touch of gray. <laughs> oh, Want a little salt and pepper. George Clooney action. <laughs> <laughs> At least they'd be the sexiest balls alive. They would. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's probably like anything else, you know, it's like like stairs, right? Yeah. You know, you walk on stairs for years and years, like they start to get wore out. Like I've just pounded on my balls for so long that they're just starting to get wore out. <laughs> I was like, where the fuck is he going with the metaphor? <laughs> I was going to say, that's why I call my ex the stairs. Now I'm going to call him Alex's balls. <laughs> And there goes Alex with the balls. You can war now from everybody stepping on him. <laughs> he needs to stop going to the gas station, 7 Eleven, selling him those pills. <laughs> Has anybody ever actually read the warning label or something? <laughs> Make us gray pubes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The problem was I mixed it with some Mountain Dew. <laughs> no, did you, like, you guys know that rumor, right? Where Mountain Dew kills sperm count. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. why I drink so much of it. Is it real? I don't no. think that's real. No, yeah. Well, I, I debunked it, but also, I mean, trailer trash multiplies like rabbits. So we all think that was bullshit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's true. I never thought about that. It's like, it doesn't kill sperm count. It, it kills the nerves in your teeth, right? Yeah. And then, so you will start losing If that was true, no, Gary would not be here. No, the rumor, I think it was like, it makes your balls smaller. I, I was, think that's what it was. No, I heard it kills your sperm count so you don't have to pull out. Oh. I mean, either maybe way, that's I'm why good. I had so many pregnant girls in my high school. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, Indiana, it is Indiana. It. Well, no, this was Florida. Oh, Florida. Yeah. Wait, you're, wait, how many states have you lived in? All of them. <laughs> All of them. Yeah. Oh, shit. This is a murderer right there. <laughs> Intercontinental man of mystery. <laughs> exactly. You never know where I'm gonna be like and lower who I'm gonna be with. <laughs> <laughs> the lower forty-eight, and I'm also on forty-eight hours. <laughs> You know how we have that one random listener, just one in Mexico City. We're gonna have one in like Anchorage, Alaska now. They, <laughs> Alex. Like, yeah, it's Alex for you. Uh, I, we do have friends in Anchorage, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, we'll share it with them. We'll good, get, yeah. Get them on this. That's, do you guys, do you look at your breakdown like, like where? I mean, I do. I just share it with this guy. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't trust him with the login either. Yeah, me yeah, neither. Or things, me neither. And it's so weird because, like, I've got, like, it's 97% in the States, and then I've got, like, less than 1% in, like, 14 countries. And I'm like, that's so weird because, like, I don't think they speak English. Or, like, how the fuck did they find you? Yeah, well, because like, I'm findable. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm discoverable. <laughs> yeah, you're in the news in other countries. <laughs> <laughs> Still like, on the lookout. <laughs> I, I think people just type in, like, how to make my AC cooler. <laughs> and, then, and then they're like, life is cooler with AC. That might be it. <laughs> that's how, like, that's well, how this doesn't see. help, but I have something to listen to while <laughs> I try. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's how we thought, like, uh, with Pursuit of Triangle, like, we have one person in Mexico City, somebody was looking up trash on Spotify. It was like, all right, we're going to listen to this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, all right, we'll give it a whirl. Yeah. Oh, they don't speak Spanish at all. Yeah. Like, I'm just so lost. He's half Mexican? No, he's not speaking Spanish. Yeah, he's a Nazi. I'm just so, so, so confused. Weird. And they got another Nazi on the <laughs> It's so funny because um, actually I was talking to a guy the other the other night and he was like, yeah, you know, I used to be in the Aryan Brotherhood and I'm like, what? Whoa, all right. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, you know, and but then I fell in love with this little black boy, and I was like, okay, I, like I just want to get out of this conversation. Hold yeah, on, you hang know? on, this is this is like an Oscar worthy fucking movie right here. <laughs> yeah, keep like, going. Let's hear it. Instead of the boy in the striped pajamas, it's like the boy in the ripped up Air Force Ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going straight to hell. Oh, well, yeah. it's like American history X because he meets a guy in prison, they become right. buds, and they kick. Well, I mean, this is just with a romantic twist. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and like, I think we should write that film now. Yeah, I'm, I'm for it. I'm I mean, down. think. Can I be the racist? Well, I mean, you wouldn't have to play a part. Exactly. We need <laughs> Bernard to be the the uh, little black boy. Yeah. It's gonna be Bernard. Yeah, hey, that makes sense. Little black boy. No, you can you can play it, but uh, uh, you gotta be uh, cast or whatever with Deshaun. 
No, I'm good. I'm out. <laughs> That's who you fall in love with. No, I'm out. So you got to look Thank scarier, you know. though. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you put on like 20 pounds of muscle and look scary, though? I mean, I'm trying. Was the guy like ripped or fat or what was his build? In American History X, it was. But... No, I'm talking about the guy uh, you met. Kind of hefty. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's what you would picture somebody to to look like if they thought that they were tough. You know okay, what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So I'm the build for that, right? I think I'm tough. So. No. Well, yeah. No, you just have the demeanor for it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the physical attributes. I'm trying so hard. So okay. I, I was. I was uh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Real quick though, I was talking with a with a mutual friend of ours, and we were like, "How does Gary pull?" We were trying to figure it out. It was while we were going to say classy, so we had Ruffling. a bit of time. <laughs> Ruffling, is it? <laughs> well, we know for starters, it's because and you can take this insultingly if you want to. I really don't care. <laughs> it could, I think because you come off non-threatening, that that's helpful. Absolutely, that well, is. Well, like I, I'm, I'm not. I try not to be an asshole. I try to be a decent human well, yeah, being. Yeah, but you're, you're well, like sure. you're, you're like a lost puppy. And most like, time, nice guys finish last, so and like, that's he why always I'm, finishes first. <laughs> exactly, it doesn't matter if you finish or not. <laughs> we have. I feel like I'm on your podcast. Either way, have, I'm gonna lick your face. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I would say he has wild fair energy. No, okay. I, yeah. I actually mentioned that to someone. They're like, "Yeah, no, I get that." Yeah, they're like, "You kind of, you kind of weird looking. You kinda stink. Squirrely. Yeah, but yeah, you're kind of yeah, weird." Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Girls think you're cute for whatever reason. <laughs> you, you shit in a box. <laughs> like, I'm just confused. Well, like I don't know. Like I just, I make I'm emotionally unavailable, and I attract emotionally unavailable women. Yeah. Well, that's. I think uh, Alexis just made a point last night. She was like, people like like emotional boys right now. Yeah. You know, like like that's trendy, and, and that kind of fits your whole vibe. Oh, that's you true. Know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess so, yeah. So like like my my whole demeanor, like I'm like the bad boy. You know, yeah. like that's kind of out right now, you know, like people don't want the bad boy, the motorcycle dry, or riding, you they know, they also like, don't want the married guy. Well, no, I'm, oh, I'm no just the saying, married like, guy is always in. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, he, well, dude. no commitment. Yeah. yeah. But so it's like, it's just I, I, like the Jason Momoa's right. And like, I'm nowhere near his stature, yeah. you know, but it's just the it's attitude. Obvious, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this camera actually deducts 14 inches. Just so you guys know. So he has no dick. <laughs> That's true. I do have a 14-inch dick. You have a 14-inch uh, uterus now. <laughs> it's huge. I don't know. Are uterus, uteri, are they big? I think average. Mel, how big is a uterus? How big is your uterus? Or it's uterus not in general. <laughs> is it 14 inches? It's not the Grand Canyon. It's not the Grand Canyon. Uh, Mel is their producer. If you guys don't know, Mel yeah. takes care of everyone. Thank you, Mel. Yeah, thanks, Mel. Shout out to Mel. Yeah, shout out producer, yeah. bartender extraordinaire. Show us your boobs, Mel. Your boobs? <laughs> See, she still won't. I've been trying for almost two years now. You're gonna get kicked out. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna get canceled. Do you guys worry about getting canceled? Fuck no. I don't no. Give a shit. really. Cause, see, and like that's what's so interesting to me because like. Jeremiah, I feel like you're more like don't fucking care. But Gary, I feel like you're kind of like I don't want to hurt people's feelings because I don't want my feelings getting hurt. And I'm, you know, so where I'm just like I don't fucking like you. Well, can... like when it comes to com, like I try to be very mindful of people. But yeah. When it comes to comedy, like I'm very much of like like it's on the table. I'm gonna make fun of it. I'm gonna yeah. make a joke. Like like I'm not, but also I'm not gonna be malicious. There's right, a difference sure. between being a comedian about it and being malicious. Yeah, and I've seen some people. They show up to open mics. I'm like, that's just malicious. Yeah, they're just, they're just going for the shock value. You know, yeah. like let's see what we can do. Yeah, that makes and sense. And like, uh, like, and also, I, I, I think some of that stuff just isn't funny. Yeah, I think some of that stuff is really cringeworthy, and uh -huh. like, you're trying too hard. Right. And, and like, that makes sense. But like, I think for my question more specifically, like with the podcast, right? Like, do you worry about? things that are said you know like oh i'm gonna i don't want certain people to hear this or are you just like fuck it i think subconsciously i might be more worried than i think i am yeah because like i know a lot of coworkers, or a lot of my coworkers will listen to this uh -huh. and like uh i work at a place that is very like you have to be more for, i mean it's, it's he works it's at a high school <laughs> it's a grocery <laughs> store but still prestigious like, some of these people take working at a grocery store way too serious. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it is still a public setting. And, like, 
Some of them, you know, they're going to make it a career out of it. And then, like, we've all seen your dick already, though. (laughs) It's going around. We'll see. And I I feel like as the podcast goes on, we talk more about that, I guess. uh, It's going to get, like, it's going to go. You're just going to start sending it to people. No, 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 no. no. (laughs) It's going to go further. Like, I can only take so many photos on my phone. Like, the story is filling up. So, Gary, if, if I'm hearing this correctly, you're worried that the podcast can be too much of a tell all, that you're kind of a weird dude, and it's not the tattoos or. <laughs> I could go the on. The dry but I won't tears for, on your cheek. Shut up. <laughs> for time's sake, I won't go on with that list. But no, yeah, uh, I, I mean, I kind of, I, I don't care a whole lot because like things are gonna get said anyways. Yeah. But it, like when it comes to like my personal life, I'm a little bit more private. That makes sense. And yeah. like, in like like living alone is a dream for me. Uh uh-huh. Like I don't have to deal with anybody's bullshit. Right. If the dishes aren't done, it's my fault. Yeah. I don't bitch at anybody. Like. So you're gay. <laughs> okay, that's cool. This is Gary's coming out, guys. Yeah. Like congratulations. <laughs> Woo! Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> They're so warm. <laughs> and what? And what? <laughs> oh, I was getting, he's getting a thumb caressing yeah. action. I'm just trying to see how far you'll go. Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> It's like, Gary, don't start lifting the table up. Or at least let me know so I can grab my shit. Right. I, I heard he was at the gas station when he got one of those pills. Yeah. <laughs> so this is why you want to live alone. And his drinks is a slow release. That, that's why I haven't touched the water yet. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's like, I got this for oh, you. Oh, so you're hard just because you're excited. <laughs> <laughs> that's all natural. <laughs> no, it's, just, it's, it's so tough, though. Uh, like with with my podcast, you know, like I talk about so many things, yeah, yeah. and I mean, like even even your episode. And if you guys haven't seen Gary's episode, go check it out. Number We're gonna one, get number one. Am I still number one? You are still by two by two views. Don't yeah. don't watch Do it now more. that I think Do about more. it. And we're gonna get Jeremiah on there soon. And uh, but with with Gary's episode in particular, uh, we got some really negative feedback. Did we? <laughs> yeah, remember the girl that was like, "This is disgusting oh, and so God. demeaning to women." Fucking and it's like because you said like, "Oh, uh, you were my like, dick my threw dick up threw, on her." My dick threw up all over your face and like. She like straight up stopped talking to me after that. <laughs> she yes. was like, "No, this is gross." I was like, "I didn't even fucking say it." Well, that's what I love about it, though. You were like, "What? Do you not want that?" And she's like, "No, we want it. We don't want you to talk about it." It's like, "Okay, you're a whore." Like, yeah, sorry. Like, I met you on Tinder. And we're still talking. Right yeah, now. Chill the fuck out. I literally was in your butthole last night. Like, what are you talking <laughs> so about? So he's not worried about getting canceled. He's just worried about losing potential fuck dates. Okay, <laughs> okay well, that's that's fair. Are you not being canceled? Well, it's, oh, I mean, man. is Tinder cancellation, like, really a... No, because you still got Bumble, Hinge, Plenty of Fish. Grinder. Like, that's the whole thing, yeah, you can always yeah. go on Blocked on all of them. Blocked on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're not allowed to send unsolicited dick pics on those either. No, oh, Grinder, you're good. It was just the other <laughs> pictures I sent. <laughs> and yeah, you know, guys go hard, man. They party. They do go hard. Hey. I respect Dude, this shit, like, um, I have a friend of mine that I work with, and he was, like, showing me, like, people, what people send him on Grindr. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's aggressive. Like, that's scary. And you're just watching it. You're just like, show me more. Well, it's it's almost like it's keep, Just keep talking, Gary. The more you're, the more stories you tell. I'm going to mute the rest of us. You keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let me tell you about Grindr real quick. <laughs> <laughs> She's crazy. I have a closing tagline. For some reason, I I don't. You guys have to correct me if I'm wrong, but for some reason, I only think it's funny in Waco, where I'm like, "All right, guys, my name is Jeremiah Red. Thank you so much. Uh, follow me on Grinder because they kicked me off of Tinder." I don't know why I only use that in Waco. <laughs> <laughs> so they all think they're like, "I wonder if somebody up there has been like, oh, I have Grinder. I'm gonna look for this guy. <laughs> like, oh, piece of shit. I haven't found you yet." <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking for you in that beard. <laughs> we, you should you should just make a fake like you said make a fake account and but but, it's, yeah. well, but it'll be a real account it's right just, but like yeah you're just not gonna the goal fuck him, right? would be, yeah the goal would Maybe. be different he only has <laughs> sex with a, how hard did you laugh at my joke he only has sex with a couple men for that. right yeah and but it's not gay if they're laughing at your jokes yeah, that's true you know it's it's biz it's professional it's 2023 it's not gay it's not gay yeah unless you're happy accepted, doing but it. also yeah. it's not gay unless like you kiss on the mouth. Everything else is fair game. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I've heard, though, it's not gay if you love them. And I don't love you know? nobody. So it's real gay for everybody. Yeah, or but just you want to be loved by everyone. Or just afterwards, you just look at them dead in the eyes, you caress their cheek, give them a little wink, and just say, no homo. See, no, yeah, that makes that makes sense. Gary's done that to me before, after getting off stage and, like, roasting me. And I'm like, <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I don't think you understand how this phrase works. No, but the thing is, I look at you and say full homo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just misheard him because everything. Yeah, well, that makes yeah. Like, I saw the homo. dick in your yeah. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you you hear what you want to hear. Yeah. Moral of the story. <laughs> You're like, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. <laughs> If acting gay with the homies is wrong, then I don't want to be right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's right. Saturdays is for the boys. <laughs> Wednesdays are for the boys. Corkies. Wait, so that's two out of seven. Yeah. So only five days are for the girls. Yeah, of course. That makes sense. The man is on a mission. <laughs> He's going to change the world. <laughs> I'm surprised we're... <laughs> that we are not Eskimo brothers. We had a scare there for a minute. We'll talk about it more off you air. You think he fucked your wife? No. Well, oh. no, I was going to say no. Wait, wait, I... He's like, wait, maybe I did. Let's 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 dive in. So without <laughs> this podcast took a change. At some point, um, what are you worried about? You know, you haven't fucked my wife, you idiot. <laughs> no, but who is this other? <laughs> but you don't know that he has. <laughs> no, no, she is way too classy for me. Yeah, you have. You have That's accurate. Chance. Yeah, she may or may not have mentioned this in in she's, great detail. She's way too nice. How awful we are! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 but no, uh, naturally, you know, you're uh, you're stomping around my old stomping grounds as a single guy. So naturally, there's going to be somebody at some point that I've already had relations with. You guys like that Bill Clinton right there? Relations. <laughs> I did have sexual relations with that woman. Oh boy, that's a data reference. God. You're going to have some 19-year-old listener be like, what the fuck is that? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> But it hasn't happened yet, just so I can still say, hey, I'm not asking my brothers with Gary. Even if he came in second, it's just a title I don't want to have. Yeah. But within the past six months, there was one point, I'm not going to pinpoint when. I will we'll, off air. We'll talk later, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I was like, oh, shit. Now we're going to be Eskimo brothers. This is a Q&A that's going to happen afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, who did he fuck? Who did he almost fuck? Right. <laughs> just Google it. Dude, that's interaction. We haven't had any yeah. interaction in the comments or anything like hey, that. Hey, go Everybody comment on some air. shit. Go yeah. comment on some yeah. shit. Go ask us questions. Tell us if you fucked Gary. Yeah. Just let us know. Dude, did you fuck them both? Dude, <laughs> from like 2000. You want to like, fuck them both? 2011 to 2013 was Real blurry, like fill me in. <laughs> Did you fuck him at all? Did you touch me? <laughs> We're also giving out uh, shitty advice if you wanted to put that in there. Yeah. 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 If you. Uh, uh, oh, I, I forgot the I forgot to put up that loss in the sauce segment. Oh yeah. So if you uh, are ever intoxicated or on something of some drugs and you need advice, uh, send us a voicemail. Oh no, that's right. No, I have the email set up. Uh, send us an email at Basuda Triangle at Gmail. And then we will give you really shitty advice. I mean, it might not be shitty. I mean, I feel like over the course of well, us been talking right now, we've had some okay breakthroughs on th yeah. some things. Yeah, and I mean, like that. I'm gay now. We just say shit. Yeah. Well, don't say now. Like if it's new. We Always say shitty advice is like a is like a legal disclaimer, a blanket in case it works out terribly. In your right. Favor. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But like, the, and that's the thing. It's like that's it's per perceptive, right? I yeah. think that's the right word. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. They're, they're like. It, what's shitty to me might not be shitty to Gary. You That's know, true. like so, so maybe it's shitty to you, but like it works for them. If you're just like suck and fuck your way through med school. Like that could be shitty advice that's how for somebody Dylan who's got married. Through, yeah. That right, but that's what exactly <laughs> so you just you don't know. It could be good advice. I think that's a good that's a good segment. Yeah. And what you guys should do is just just find, you know, like when a, when a, a, somebody like tunes in or whatever, answer it on the air and just be like, you know, Sally from fucking That's the plan. Just yeah. nobody nobody's been submitting it. Live radio show. I thought about going for the low hanging fruit and then just pulling up shit from like Ask Reddit or Life Advice on a Reddit thread. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of people were doing that, but again, I like it'd be more endearing if it was from, you know, the listeners. Yeah. Looking at you yeah. guys. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Hey, Mexico City, where you at? Mexico. <laughs> we got Google Translate. We got this. <laughs> Como estas, amigo? I mean, my Spanish is okay. I would like to think we wouldn't need Translate, but you never know. Right. Yeah. Well, Gar this. Gary, he, he's got Translate on his phone because most of the people that he fucks, they can't speak English. Hey, yo, That's Chinese. Fair. This is fucking this is beautiful, Chinese. Beautiful Those are language. sex workers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> beautiful language. You must be talking about Mandarin. The, the exchange rate in my favor is so good. The exchange, you just you fuck one and exchange it no, for no, another. No, the money, bro. Oh. Goddamn. <laughs> Trade this one in. Economically dead. She's too here. old. <laughs> That's not even what I was <laughs> I'm just trying to get somebody canceled. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I would no nickelback. What do you mean? 
No Nickelback. He flies the no Nickelback flag, and yeah. it's it is a black flag with a white N and then a circle and a cross through it. And it's the weirdest thing because I'm like, does that really stand for Nickelback? <laughs> like, wh- what do you say? And he flies it in his front yard, and I'm just like, Gary, I I don't think this means what you think it means. Well, also it's like that burning cross in your front yard doesn't that you mean put that. I know, and I'm just hey. so confused. You know, I don't drive that far. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I I saw uh, it was some sort of like Jeep or something coming down the street and it had like three donuts on it and only one good tire and I was like, Gary? <laughs> like, you're not me as a yet? person. <laughs> <laughs> this car's a representation of his life. Ex- God, exactly. Fuck. I'm so sad. <laughs> but I live alone. Eventually, still moving along, still trucking down. Eventually downhill. this podcast you just be Jeremiah talking to people. He's like, where's Gary? And then Jeremiah's like, I'm not talking about it. He and also he's, killed himself. Yeah. He talked to Alex and his parents are so inspirational. <laughs> I've got like three people already. They're like, "Hey, man, if, if anything ever happens to Gary, I got you." <laughs> <laughs> what? They'll help you hide the body. Well, that and also they'll replace him on the podcast. Well, that's easy. Yeah. So I mean, now I just stay. A- al- I stay alive out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do it tonight. I, died my I thought you were already gonna do that, or you've already been doing that, rather. Yeah. You've been killing yourself. Like living no, out staying, of spite. Yeah, living out of spite. Oh, oh! I yeah. thought you were just taking like one ibuprofen an hour. You're like, I'm going to shut down my fucking liver. <laughs> it's going to come one of these days. I mean, no, I mean, I've been trying to, I'm trying to be healthier. I'm trying to be a happier person. That's good. But, like, it's so fucking terrible out there. Yeah, you're a comedian. You surround yourself with shitty people. Dude, I, I will say, so you used to play music, right? Uh-huh. Would you say musicians are shittier or comedians are shittier? Uh, well, it's weird. I'm okay right now. What about you guys? You guys good? Good. I am good. All right, cool. Thank you. It's weird because... It's just, it's two different styles of people, right? With, yeah. with with comedians and musicians, you both have sad boys, yeah. right? But with musicians, you've got like the sad boys who cut themselves. And then with comedians, you have the sad boys who go to therapy. Or the or they like cut up in front of people and they just make fun of people. They, you can tell they're very malicious. Well, no, I mean like physically, like with a razor blade. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, We're not like therapy joking. today. Why I'm wearing long sleeves, bro? (laughs) But but and so it like it's it's the same, but it's but it's different, you know. And like so, I've never really fit into to either one of those because like I'm not a a, a sad boy, you know. I'm not Mm -hmm. some. I don't do self harm. Like I'm a I'm a genuinely happy person. Yeah, and I feel like. When it comes like uh, with comedy, you know, and like anything in the inter- entertainment industry, people anymore are just so like they want to have a, a problem, you know, like oh, like look at my trauma, you mm-hmm. know, and it's like I'm just I, I don't know, you know, like I'm just I'm I'm different than that. I don't have a fucking trauma. I know? literally had that thought process in my car. I was thinking about that today, and it was like everyone like like when Robin Williams killed himself, mm-hmm. they were all like, oh, Robin was so sad. Da, da, da. I was like, how about you not put that on him? Like he was just vastly more talented than you ever could. Yeah. Be. And maybe he had fucking dementia. Yeah. Like, like or Alzheimer's. It was dementia. It was like, okay, it was like yeah. a form of dementia. Yeah. And, and it's like, like, maybe that was it. Maybe he was actually fucking happy. He just got to the point where he was like, he didn't like his life anymore because his brain was deteriorating. Well, and like, cause they have the whole documentary about it. Uh-huh. And it's like crazy. <laughs> and uh, like, uh, but Every, like in music and in, in comedy that I've noticed like people will wear that like a badge of honor like I'm I, so fucking damaged yeah like, dude shut the fuck up exactly yeah and, and it's, it's unless you can be funny about it in which case go yeah. on but most people yeah. but, <laughs> and, and being funny about it is totally fine yeah. but, but don't wear it as a cape and then act like you're trying to tuck it in yeah you know what oh, I mean oh yeah like, I see what you're saying yeah like either one or the other you know like like don't be like oh no this is funny i'm gonna laugh about this but also i'm crying inside yeah. it's like then don't talk about it yeah. you know like like either a you're okay with it or you're dealing with it which is why you're talking about it right yeah. now or b don't because it, it, it's too hurtful but if you're t- if you have to tell me how hurtful it is after you just joked about it on stage is it really that fucking hurtful is it yeah. that hard to cope with well in like because you see musicians open the lyrics and they're like oh like i can't I can't write songs if I'm not sad. Uh-huh. Like, dude, get over it. Like, and you'll see like people who are like in bands or like multimillionaires. I'm like, dude, get the fuck over it. You're a, you're a rich person now. Like, like Jay Z isn't writing about living in the streets anymore. For sure. Like, Which, and, and and I'm not gonna say that having money cures 
loneliness yeah, or, or sadness because yeah, yeah, yeah. that doesn't make sense. But there's definitely there, there's different things, you know. Like you're not going to rap about being broke if, if you're a millionaire. Yeah. It doesn't make sense, you yeah. know. You're but, pandering. Exactly. It, it go it goes uh, up. It doesn't go down because they're broke ass motherfuckers rapping about being rich. Right. Yeah. Who's hey, rich hey, yeah. And that's broke. fine because like like convince them that you're better than what you are. But yeah. but it's the people who have to try and convince people that they're not <laughs> as good as what they are. So right. that, that's where it's frustrating. Like like you said lyrics and stuff. Like I've literally watched musicians cry on stage yeah. because the song that they wrote is so fucking emotional and that is their art. That is how yeah. that is how they cope with it. So they break down in the middle of a song. Yeah. And they continue the song because like they wrote it because they're trying to express, they're trying to deal with that stuff. That makes sense. Now if you're on stage and you're making a joke about how your parents just killed themselves and then you get off stage and you're like, and I'm just so sad. It just I just don't know how to live with it. Like you're a fucking liar. Yeah, pick one or the other. Right. You you can't joke about it, but then be like, it's so incapacitating that I'm crying over Not it. Not only that, but that, that that's like a, it kills the vibes. Like, it's different in music because like you said, there's sad boy music, there's angry boy music, uh-huh. whatever. In comedy, there's the there's different types of comedians, but the end goal is the same. Like, we're supposed to laugh and have a good time. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not going to get philosophical with it. At that point, I guess you're trying to be like a quasi-poet. Yeah, it, right, exactly, yeah. Nothing it, it, wrong with that, just don't take it to a comedy show. Yeah, it becomes poetry, and it's therapeutic, and that, and that's fine. Mm-hmm. But don't try and say that that's how comedy is, you know? And, like, and it's, it's so weird because, you, like, in all of the entertainment industry right now, like, you, everybody's damaged, and everybody's yeah. trying to just find their place in life. And it's like, I'm... I'm not trying. This is my place in life. Yeah. This, I've always I was class clown. I've always been funny. I've always made dead parent jokes since the fucking beginning of my parents being dead. Yeah. Like that is just how I cope with things, you know. But then I don't go home and cry about it. That's you, not what I do. Because you right. could easily be that guy who's like, "Oh, my parents are dead. I'm so sad about it." But you're like, "That's dumb. Like, why would I continue to be sad about it?" Like. I mean, there's probably times you might feel a certain type of way about it. Right. S- like, situations will happen where I'm like, oh, if my dad was here, I could ask advice. This yeah. makes me sad. Mm-hmm. But just because he's dead and because he killed himself, I don't mope around all yeah, day. Yeah, because there's no use to it. Like, no, it's exactly. Like, like, how many years ago was it? It's fuck a long time. It's like, a long ass time. A long time. So long, like, let's say, like, like, it was, like, five years ago. You're not going to sit there and be like, I'm the same person five years ago. I'm still going to feel this certain type of way about it. It's like you've got to move forward. Exactly. You've got to evolve as a person. Yeah, and, and, and that, that's where we, like, I feel like pe- as people, we've really kind of regressed in a way. They're like... We have animal instincts, right? We mm. we are animals. We Kill, just are eat and fuck. Yeah, yeah. That exactly. Like that is what That's we a t-shirt. do. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Jeremiah Red. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's like we we are cavemen. You yeah. know, we just have fancy lights and microphones now. Yeah. You know, but it's like everybody wants to be like, oh, but but look at me, I'm different for this or I'm different for that or whatever. And it's like you literally you you see People get killed all the time. You see animals get killed. You see all of these things, and and we grow from that. And I'm not saying that that's good or that's bad. Yeah. You know, what I, it's just that is nature. You know, like my wife will see something online, and it's like, oh, the fucking the the lion eats the gazelle, and she's like, that's just so sad. And I'm like, why? That's nature. That is nature. That's how it works. That is how. So you're you're sad that the gazelle died, but if he didn't die, the lion would die. Yeah. Well, it's Lion King. Everything is in a cycle. Yes, yeah. it, like exactly. It has to happen for nature to happen. If you want trees, something's gonna die to feed the tree. Exactly. Yes. Like, and and, and that is life, right? We, we have to die to be alive. Like, it, it doesn't make sense, well, and, and we have to be alive to die. Because, like, in, that's like that's a whole other philosophical debate to go into. Because, like, some people don't they don't want to like cope with the reality, right? And I'm like, dude, this shit's gotta happen. Man. Exactly. Like, you have to. We work out, right? Yeah. I've got calluses all over my fucking yeah. fingers and hands. You know why? Because my body adapts. If yeah. your body's not adapting, then there's a problem. Like, bad shit happens. Unfortunately, that's just, yeah. this is just the way that it and is. And we're comedians, so we're going to make jokes about that shit. Yep. Stop trying to be like, but but also look at me and, and feel bad for me because this also happened. And stop like, trying to make it, like, so I had a joke where I said I was robophobic. Uh-huh. Because I was like, I was like, I don't trust robots. Right. I had someone in Austin come up to me and they're like, you're using the word robophobic to cover up the fact that you're homophobic and transphobic. I was like, what the fuck are you, like a transformer? I just fucked a gay dude earlier. <laughs> like, like, what are you talking about? And like, I was like, you're making an assumption about a joke about robots but you want to 
you're you're just looking for something to be offended at. Exactly. Yeah. And, and be, but it's because like and and that's what's hard with being a comedian is that people automatically assume that you're categorized in this, you know, like uh sad boy mentality Mm -hmm. or they see like one like joe rogan special and he said something or a bill burr is offensive to a lot of people Uh and like they'll see that one especially oh all comedians are like that right exactly everyone and neither one of those guys are malicious in their jokes but people are the thing is we don't go outside and worry about a lion attacking us or getting eaten by something so now we put issues and other things Uh so like I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry about a wolf coming to eat me. Right. Now I'm going to worry about this guy saying something mean to me. Yeah. Like, oh, this guy, he, he was on stage. I'm like, you mean at a comedy show? Right, yeah, that you paid to see. Yeah. yeah. And you're offended by it? Yep. Oh, my God. Cry me a fucking And river. that's why we have to adapt. And, and, like, I think that that's why doing this stuff, you know, is good because it kind of brings light to, you know, like, we are all people. But, yeah. like, also, like, shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> I get offended by stuff. There's certain well, yeah, things that happen. I'm you're like, a bitch. I'm, <laughs> right? Yeah. Pussy. I'd be like, I'd be like, that's offensive. Like, that's genuinely offensive. But also, being in comedy will put that difference. So, like, is this genuinely offensive or is this a joke? Right. Exactly. Like, like yeah, maybe it's both. Fuck. Or like, you can take a joke and write it on paper. I mean, a million comedians have said this. Like, you can write it on paper, read it off paper, and like, it's offensive. Uh-huh. You're like, that's fucking offensive. But like, you didn't watch Alex. Say that joke. Right, exactly. Like, the, the way you say it, the delivery. The it, smile. Yeah, to, yeah, totally Everything. different. Like, like, fuck off with all this extra bullshit. Like, that's why whenever someone actually asked me, they're like, hey, with the podcast, do you ever think you'll get canceled? I was like, I Yeah, he just it. asked you that. How many have you had? <laughs> well, like, no. <laughs> I've had enough time to piss my pants. I told I told someone I was like, well, if it's on the podcast, okay. then like it's it's just it's on the podcast. Yeah, absolutely. Like it's there. We're yeah. gonna joke about it. I don't think if you're you're not, obviously you're not my audience. Right, for sure. Like if you're going to get if I'm gonna say a joke about about a gay guy, I have gay friends. Uh-huh. I and they know I'm not gonna be malicious. Right. But if you wanna be if you wanna be oh he's being malicious, I'm like, fuck off. Yeah. Well and and, and that's what's so difficult because like uh, you know, Chris Dixon, uh, he just did a show of mine just like two weeks ago. Yeah. And he, he did his bit about how he got a hand job from a uh, girl with Parkinson's. Yeah. Uh, and somebody came up. The best to, hand job ever. Right, exactly. <laughs> and somebody came up to him and was telling him how that was a shitty joke and how his wife has Parkinson's and, you know, like all of these, you know, like just. Did your wife jerk him off? Like Right, yeah, it, exactly. But. Everybody wants to find a fucking flaw. And I'm just, I don't know. Like, I am literally, I come from a place and uh, where I'm just like, fuck you. Like, I don't care. Like, your problems, like, I I feel bad for you. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. You know what I mean? Like, like whatever your problem is, like, I've got plenty of my own, but that ain't one of them. Yeah, like, it's just like, stop putting you on me. Exactly. Yep. We, We all have them. Like, and, like, this is, like, the best era to be in comedy. Because, like, we're the so... The hardest. Co- I mean, it is hard because, like, we live so close to Austin. And Austin is just, like, bursting with, like, people who want to be a comedian. Uh-huh. Or who are a comedian or, like, doing really well. Or, like, doing very poorly at open mics. Like, like last night I just ate dicks. And, like, but that's you ate part dicks of it. last night? Yeah, I ate so many dicks <laughs> last night. And I wasn't even coming in happy about it. <laughs> I didn't even go out. God. Well, somebody was coming. Uh, but, like, this is, like, the best era because, like, com- like well, it, because more people are looking at it because they want to look offended. Uh-huh. But also, if you're offended by it, you still watched it. Exactly. Like, yeah. I get numbers. Exactly. Go ahead. Be offended. Share. Show all your friends. Yeah, show them all. Look Sh- at if, this piece of shit. Yeah. I'm a fucking asshole. Please. Exactly. Like, watch my let comedy them know. and let them all – put your hate comments because I'm exactly. going to like all your comments. I'm going to be like – Yo, I see your point of view, but fuck you. Is like the algorithm. Like, the see, that's because thing- you're sweet. I see your point of view. I'd be like, that sucks, dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it's it so passive aggressive. Yeah. It's passive aggressive, though. I see your point of view, but also fuck you. Yeah. Like, like the algorithm works to my favor. It doesn't matter. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's just more, a machine. More people are willing to comment on something they hate it uh-huh. versus like 
Just start saying the N-word like three times a week. <laughs> I can't be like Kramer. But in front of people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, in front like, of people. But like, uh, like, think of the amount of times you've looked at something and looked at all the bad reviews versus the good reviews. Uh-huh. There's like a thousand bad reviews, but people get mad and they want to comment yep, about it. For sure. But Nobody's like, talking about the good experience they had. Yeah. Except for me, because I'm just too nice for a yeah. person. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I had a really lovely. good time. I know you guys were busy, and my food was an hour late, but it, it was, was so cold. good. <laughs> but also, like, dot, 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 you get four stars. <laughs> I cleaned my plate, but I want a refund. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never be back, but you deserve better. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of reminds me, uh, if you guys are cool going over time, well, I mean, I don't oh, yeah, I'm sure. care. Um, I wanted to kind of save this for the discussion with they said I'm funny but I still haven't rescheduled with them and apparently we Same. also have the podcast beef yeah fuck you guys over there <laughs> Adam Wolf Justin Marino so one thing I've been hearing a lot not just on their podcast but just like with comedy in general in the local scene is it is it not okay to punch down anymore I don't know well so you on the local scene mm-hmm. like I don't know because is that the goal is the goal to be local is that is that the goal no, I would say, like, Not the goal really is to grow the audience. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. So who fucking cares? You know, like, I punch down on, like, my my city. I'm like, you guys mm-hmm. fly your city flag, you oh, know. And, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and I make fun of it. And, like, you're punching down on the shit that we can see is, is low. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you don't punch down on somebody that is hurt. You punch down on people who are hurting themselves. Yeah. You know, you're sure. like, you literally don't care enough about yourself. So I'm going to make fun of that. Totally different than being like, oh, I see you broke your leg, you know, like, so now you're a gimp, yeah. you know, like, which is still kind of funny, yeah. you know, but, but there's a difference. Like, I think punching down is like, well, there's a good way and a bad way to go. Because yeah. you can be a dick and you're like, oh, that guy's not even funny. He's just being a dick. And uh-huh. then also there's times where you're like, oh, that's funny, but also you're not hurting anybody. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like, I don't, I don't know. Like it, that's one of those like super shades of gray, Yeah, you know, because it's like, I've made gay jokes. I've made, you know, like, I don't want to say racist jokes, but like they definitely, they, racial. Ra- race ra- race, yeah, yeah, race. Ex- yeah. yeah, exactly. And like they split the room, you know, and mm-hmm. like, it's just you, like what Gary said. I think you were in the bathroom when Gary said, like, that's not my crowd. If you're upset about it, that's not my crowd. Right. You know, and like your crowd will find you. I literally probably once a week talk to somebody and they're like, I fucking hate Kevin Hart. Yeah. And I'm like, that sucks for you. Yeah. Like, yeah. I love Kevin Hart. He's Kevin got Hart. Multi million fans. Yeah. He doesn't need you. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's more people that like him than people that don't. Yeah. And the fact that you're one of them that don't means that you're a fucking idiot. Or even if it, even if there's more people who Jeremiah's hate him. like, I hate him. Even if there's more He's people right, who hate no, him. <laughs> if, if you have like enough people who love you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, Andrew Schultz is very polarizing to a lot of people. And I love Andrew He's Schultz. He's so fucking funny. Yeah. But a lot of people, like, he had a joke about, like, coming on a Mexican girl's back. And uh-huh. that's why you call him a wet back. Right. And, like... I know, like, three or four people are like, that's a fucking terrible joke. I was like, that's so fucking so funny. good. Yeah, and so The funny. writing is per- – and, like, I appreciate it as a comedian. I'm, like, looking at a writing standpoint. I'm like, he wrote that so fucking good yeah. and performed it well. And, like, I've had these Hispanic friends who were like, dude, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's his crowd. Yeah. The, the people that don't want to be offended, that is the crowd. Yeah. You know? And and I'm actually – I'm going to jump into another topic. Not totally different. Right. But I uh, – and I'm not even going to state a name because it's it's somebody I think that, that we all know. Okay. I just saw a post uh, a couple weeks ago that said something about like, you, you know that SpongeBob meme? We're getting back to the memes where yeah. he's got the box and it says something and then he opens the box. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It, it said like, I'm a shitty comedian and I can't write funny jokes. And then the bottom picture where it was open, it says crowd work. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember yeah, who yeah. posted it, but I did see it. Yeah. I see and, that, yeah. And, and I'm like, It's so funny to me because I'm like Andrew Schultz, right, who literally just put out his first real special and put it out himself because he got fucking canceled by the streaming platform. Oh, because they wanted to take out Joe. Right, and and he said, fuck that. I'm not going to let you cancel me, you know, so he put it out himself. he made like 10 times more money doing that. Yep, and he literally did a crowd work special. Yeah, and yeah. it was thirty minutes of him telling zero jokes. It was all crowd work. So you're telling me that because you write jokes and don't know how to do crowd work, that you're fucking better than Andrew Schultz because he did thirty minutes of only crowd work? I Dude. think, from my perspective, um, I'm sorry, Gary. I'm always cutting you off. Good, good. That's um, all right. Fuck Gary. <laughs> people are always like, 
man, I need to do crowd work. I was asking why. Well, because everybody's doing it. So? Yeah. Not everybody's doing it. So, I mean, it's good for the algorithm, right? It's good for like TikTok and real. Yeah, that's all I post. Yeah, because when you do that, you can show people that you can be funny. You can run a room. You can be engaging. And you're, you're not you're not taking your con, you know, like right. your jokes. You're not ruining. You're not that. giving away your bits. Yeah. So I see that, but then my thing is, you know, I'm still pretty new to this, but just as a person, this is how I am. I'm like, well, do you want to do it? Well, no, not really. I just feel like I have to. Then don't fucking do it. Yeah. If yeah. you're not comfortable doing it, you don't have to. There's plenty of other comics that even professionals that are still putting out um, specials, you know, that they just do bits. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I know plenty of comedians are phenomenal comedians. And, like, I know they can write bits and they, they, they can no crowd work whatsoever. And uh -huh. they just kill it the whole yep. time. They don't need crowd work. Absolutely. And then, like, uh, I talked to uh, a buddy of mine, Austin, and he was like, I only post crowd work uh, on TikTok because people, for one, people like it. They like uh -huh. to interact. Yeah. He's like, but he's like, come to my show to hear my bits. Right. Mm -hmm. For sure. I'm going to give you, like, a minute of my set. It'll do, like, a 15-minute set. I'm uh -huh. going to give you a minute. That minute is the crowd work. The rest of that 14 minutes is all, like, jokes I worked on. Right. And, and, and that's what's captivating, right? Because we we watch, like, it's on, you know, the reels and the, mm. the shorts and the, you know, fucking TikToks and the, you know, the YouTubes. The YouTubes, yeah. <laughs> Shout <laughs> like, out to Chris Dix and yeah. your piece of YouTube's shit. Like, fucking uh, big vinegar. But... <laughs> but we we post that stuff and, and, and it's just it, it's to be alluring. Yeah, you know, it's you to draw them in somehow. Right, but it, but if I post, you know, like my whole bit, and then you come to my show, and then you see my bit, you're and like, you're oh, like, oh yeah, I've seen this before. Exactly. Or you do and, it too many times. Why do I? Why should I come see you? Right, exactly. But if you're like, oh, that was funny because you engaged the audience, you brought them into it. Maybe you'll bring me into it. Yeah. And, and I've literally had people be like, if I sit up front, will you talk to me? Yeah. Like yeah. Absolutely. Also, like, there, no, fuck off. Right, yeah. <laughs> There's a blurred line between crowd work because I see people that post it or they're like, oh, I'm going to practice crowd work. And all they do is their setup to the joke is just asking somebody a question. Right. Like, eh, it's not really crowd work. Yeah. yeah. No, that, that's literally just baiting. Yeah. yeah. Or just... uh, being quick on your feet and being able to pick up on something that somebody says. That's good, too. That's kind of crowd work. We're like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, this I, I so actually here at Corky's, uh, I did a, a show and I think I, I was hosting a mm. show one time and a good friend of mine, uh, I don't, Vinny Rossi, I don't know if you guys know no, him. Yeah, I've been yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, he, he did good a bit. Guy. Yeah. He's super funny. He did a bit about um, losing his virginity in Amsterdam. Yeah. And when he said it, a couple looked at each other and went back. You know, and and I was so I'm, in my mind, I'm like, I yeah. have to address this. Oh yeah. And I got on stage, and I was like, "Ma'am, when he said Amsterdam, you gave him a fucking look." And I like, I got to know what's going on here. And yeah. we dug into it, and everybody's like, "Oh shit, okay, yeah. well, you know, because this is real. This is happening right now. We got to figure out what's going on." And it, it did super well. And then when I got off, Vinny was like. How did you pay attention to the room so much that you saw somebody's reaction? And I'm like, if you're not doing that, in my opinion, you're doing yourself a disservice. Oh, 100%. You have to be observant. And that doesn't mean that you have to be an observational comedian. Mm. It just means that you have to be aware of what's going on in the room. Because if you're not, that means you're not reading the room. It means that you don't know if the people are receptive or not. And it means that you can't pivot. And like, those are the most important things doing a fucking show. Like, I pulled away from, I've, like, watched a room and I pulled away from a joke. I was like, I'm not going to do that joke because that, this crowd does not like that type of humor. Exactly. So you have to, like, you have to work on it. Yeah. And oh, like, they're laughing about the sexual shit. Let me do my sexual mm -hmm. shit. Oh. It's not what I prepared, but I know that it works. And that's why, like, on open mics, I'll start signing up at, like, seventh or eighth place because I'll, I want to it? watch the crowd. Yeah. Because I'm like... <laughs> or you could just host. That's what I did last night. Fuck yeah. That's why I did it. I was, I yeah, did... no, my wife was like, wow, Jeremiah's doing a really good job hosting. Yeah, you actually killed it. I'm gonna Thank you. Yeah. You killed it hosting last night. Well, was... That's what I was trying to do. I was like, in between, like, I'm listening to the bits and I'm laughing, but I'm also, like you said, like, watching everybody. Yep, absolutely. Like, these the, you have the soldiers to. that we were talking about, man, yep. they're just fucking gold for material yeah See, and, uh, and, and being quick but you know and, and that's what's cool about crowd work right because like i know that there's two people sitting at the bar right now and they're both drinking wine i could probably make a joke about it yeah and the fact that you're aware of that situation could be funny yeah sometimes it falls flat it, it, and, and that's just part of comedy oh yeah but but addressing something even if it doesn't get laughs people say he's paying attention yeah. so i don't want to do something that's going to draw attention to me something that helped is uh, recently i was i was uh last minute did a thing with bernard and, and colleen and it was like a like a single social type dealio 
How many times have I said dealio? That's like four, right? It's a word of the day, dealio. Dealio. It's like your Apple Watch tracks yeah, it's like, it. Hey, dude, like, uh, that's like the 14th time you said that. Stop it. <laughs> cool it, buddy. But no. Um, I watch it. It was interesting because in the back over here, you had uh, one chick with two dudes. And at a table over here, you had one dude with two chicks. Uh-huh. So I was like, what the fuck is going on here, guys? Right, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Was there not enough chairs? Did you have to... Yeah, but like just being aware. <laughs> but And that's crowd work. And, and it engages, you know? Like I've been in so many rooms where people, they don't want to be talked at, they want to be talked to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's such a different... Like I've literally done uh, 20 minutes only doing crowd work. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I've done, you know... 45 minutes of only material, you know? So it's like, it, it literally, it depends upon the room. Like I, I did one, uh, with Maggie Mayfield, shout out to Maggie. Love you, Maggie. Um, What's up, Maggie. And there was a couple, I said something about, you know, like assholes or something, you know? And I asked this guy, I said, does she have a hairy asshole? And he's like, no, she doesn't. And I was like, oh, she shaves it. And he's like, it's hazer or laser hair removal. Oh, okay. and I was like, we're going to talk about this. Oh, yeah. And we <laughs> talked about it for double like, down. Yeah. yeah. We talked about it for like 20 minutes and it was an outside show. So I couldn't hear all the laughs, but my wife was sitting in the back and she was like, the back was laughing so fucking hard. And they, they're late. Their assholes weren't laser hair yeah. removed. It just, it's a funny concept. And it is, it's great. Yes. And, and, and double down. Like, and I was talking to someone in the crowd. So they felt connected to yeah. it. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what, like, I just, I don't get people who are like, oh, crowd work is for people who aren't funny. Like, sorry, you're just not funny on the spot. Yeah, sorry, yeah. you kind of suck at it, but that's okay. You don't have yeah. to be. Just stick to your bits, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, if you're not good at crowd work, stick to what you're good at. If exactly. you're not good at crowd work, write better bits. Yep. But sure. if you're really good at crowd work and if you can capitalize on that, then fucking go for it yeah. dude and like uh this past saturday i saw a comedian i feel like i can't remember his name but alex cunningham he had <laughs> like you could see he had stuff right now uh -huh. but he ended up pulling crowd work and he pulled he, almost his entire set was crowd work really and like he goes i wasn't prepared for that i was like you look like you did crowd work on the regular yeah and he killed it and he was i was like i was Watching him, I was just like blown away. I was like, he's doing so good. But you can tell in his face, he's like, I don't do this. Uh -huh. But he worked it out. I was like, that's so good. And like, he was like, your Tinder dates. I don't normally do this. <laughs> <laughs> and like, he like baited the crowd and like it worked for him. But also, I've done it where I baited the crowd and it did not work for me. Right. And it just falls on your yeah, ass. I'll, I'll do another one. And like, it just. It's a double-edged sword. Uh -huh. Crowd work, like you said, some some audiences don't want to talk to you. Yeah, no. I've been in front of audiences where I was like, oh, yeah, huh? And they're like, yeah, I don't want to fucking talk to you. Listen, like, All right, sorry. Last night, you were both here last night. There was a lady at the, the far end, and I said, every time somebody says anal, you light up. Yeah. And, and she started laughing, and I was like, let's talk about it. But she would not answer me. Yeah. She oh, would just yeah. laugh. And it's I don't like, know who you're talking about. Yep, and it was yeah, like, yeah. okay, so now I know at this point – Let's move on because like anal, 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 right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Just just science is anal. And she's like, oh my god, it's so okay. <laughs> this is all for you, girl. <laughs> but like, you have to be aware and you have to understand that. Yeah. And I, I feel like people, either direction, if, if you think that's all you can do, or you think that you shouldn't do it at all, then thank you. Then, then you're wrong. You're doing yourself a disservice by not trying everything. Like okay. you, we all know who Will Ferrell is, right? Yeah, yeah. Will, Will Ferrell, when he was He's on SNL, crowd work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and when he was on SNL, he said he looks at life as a fucking dartboard, yeah. and he's gonna throw as many darts as he can at it because eventually something will stick. And it's like if you're not doing that for yourself, you, then then you're already losing because you're not trying every fucking avenue. Well, Ian, like there's like. I mean, it's it. Comedy is so fickle because you can do that same bit somewhere else and it falls flat on his face, Absolutely. and you just have to adapt to it. And you yeah. have to like take those bruises and take those lumps. Yeah. And like, like you'll go to a you like you can watch. And I've seen it happen where like someone will do crowd work and the next person will be like, I'm gonna do crowd work. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, for some reason, the whole crowd just goes. Yep. Oh, I don't want any of this. Yeah. And Sometimes like, the crowd just doesn't like you. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I've watched shows where, like, uh, like the audience is like, mm-mm. Yeah. I don't want to talk to you. I've I been that to... guy. Yeah. yeah. And they're Same. like, nah. <laughs> and, like, uh, it's just, it's hard. And it, then it becomes hard to transition. Because uh -huh. you're like, oh, I wasn't ready for this. Right. Yeah, exactly. And I've now, seen seasoned comedians 
like uh, just clam up and like you see the fear in their eyes. Uh-huh. Oh, like, oh, it's done. Yeah, Man I can't drop. talk no, to you. I'm gonna talk at you now and yeah. hope that that goes better. And we're just gonna we're gonna throw some darts. I gotta fill in two more minutes, and this, <laughs> got, this shit's gonna land. I don't even care. Like at that point, it's a fight for survival. Uh-huh. Like there's been nights where like dude, last night like I just took a fat shit on stage, and I was like, this is not Which working. Sucks out. Everybody else killed. Right. Yeah, <laughs> which is even not worse. Really, not really. No, no, no. Some people did kill, and I was like, I was mad. I like literally got so that night, I, like last night, I walked on stage. I was prepared. I was like, I got this. Mm-hmm. I did a. I was trying to do a bit that I've done many times. I know it like the back of my hand, and I set it up wrong. It's tattooed on I it. failed it. Like nothing worked, and like the failure was in my head. And at that one point, I was like looking at the host. I was like. Give me a light, give me a light, give me a light. The house is nope. Jeremiah. Yeah, yeah. Was, as soon as I I'm look looking at, Jer- at the time, I'm not looking at you, buddy. And then Jeremiah <laughs> gave me the light. You like, can oh, recuse yourself at any point. Thank God. <laughs> but that's where, like, I, like, I, like, got in my car. I was like, I told you, I was like, I'm leaving. I'm yeah. out. I, yeah. Well, and that's what's so funny, because, like, I was, yeah, I was he talking was to. next door. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Matching. <laughs> but I was I told my wife on the way home last night, I was like, I'm I'm gonna quit comedy. I'm fucking done. And she was like, No, like it'll get better, this and that. And I was like, I, everybody's writing new jokes, everybody's doing good, and I feel like I'm just fucking I'm just here, you know? And it's just it's funny because you're not the only person who felt that last yeah. night, you know? And like, I mean, mm. I have that conversation with my wife all the time where I'm like, I'm fucking done. And like, I'm never done. I'm never yeah. going to quit. But you you're know? just going to say that to yourself. Right. Yeah. And you're just like, this sucks. You know, sometimes it just hurts, you know, oh, like yeah. so, oh, yeah. sometimes yeah. it's emotionally, sometimes it's physically, sometimes it's both. And you're I just totally like, fuck. Kid. He was like, oh, I'm going to do comedy. I was like, all right, go for it. Go for it. I was like, you got to remember it's self-abuse face at times. Yep. It's going to hurt. We're all masochists. And he was like, yeah. I was like, do you believe in having a soul? And he was like, oh, that stuff is stupid, blah, blah, I was like, all right, so whenever you do comedy, you've been working on this joke for like three weeks straight, and it doesn't land, and it gets silent. It hurts about right here, and I think <laughs> yep. that's where your soul hits. Uh-huh. <laughs> and because you feel it right there. It's like it starts in your heart, and then it and just it goes straight down. to the like, soul. Oh! And like, he was like, all right, whatever. And he walked on stage, and he said some bit, and it was like, I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And oh, the, I watched The him. lights are on me. And the thing was, I watched him do this. It works this. so well in your head every time. Right. I, I watched him grab his chest right here. I was like, there it is. There That's it your soul. Is. That's yep. your soul. You're feeling it's it. And, and he walked off stage. I was like, your soul, your soul. Man. Yeah. He, was, he just gave me the finger and walked away. And yeah. I was like, it hurts, dude. It, it does. Yeah. And, and I think that we're all self-centered, you know, like comedians, you know, like I know I am, Yeah. you know, and like my wife all the time will talk because like she works a real job full time, you know, and like pays all the bills and everything and like I just I was talking to my hairstylist today uh, she came to one of my shows I did 30 minutes here and she she brought a bunch of people and they had a great time whatever yeah. and she and she knows she, that I don't have a job you know yeah. like I'm just a comedian like that is my job and she's like are you still a stay at home husband and I'm like yeah you know and uh, she was like your wife's probably just waiting like when can I quit and I'm like yeah absolutely because not only does she not want to have to work a full time job she also works a full time job because she has to take care of my comedy stuff she's like she books my show she does all of this stuff you yeah. know and it's like also she has to deal with the fact that like i am like this fucking sucks sometimes yeah. and like yeah. that's a full-time job all in itself like it, it's it's so it's so hard because like i i knew i was gonna go home and i was gonna mull over it yeah and then i got i got a better parking spot which made me feel a little bit better you just drove around the block? Yeah, I literally, I drove, no, I literally drove around downtown for a whole minute and was like, I'm going to fucking, I'm not going to get into the podcast. I'm going to kill myself I'm going to on full blast and sobbing. <laughs> I was like, I, because we already planned to meet with you tonight and I was like, I'm, I don't want to do the podcast. Like, I don't want to do comedy anymore. You would have bowed out of sort of smacked like, the shit out of you. And like, I was like, no, Gary, what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh-huh. Just shut the fuck up. You're being in your own head. So I went and got a better parking spot. I was like, hey, you're closer now. That's sick. Yeah. And I got out of the car and I like walked up and my friend was like, what are you still doing here? And I was like, no, that if was I go me home. me again. Not you. I did ask you Well, you that. did ask me that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, like, my anonymous friend. <laughs> but she was like, she was, I thought you were leaving. I was like, I did too. But like, I have to like, I have to sit in this and like it. It was one of those moments where I was like, all right, I'm, I got to write. I'm going to go home and write. Yes, you have to write. Like, I mean, like, 
and like I said, it was a bit that I, I fucking, I thought I knew already. Uh huh. And it, like I hadn't done it in so long, and I was like, oh dude, I just fucking lost it. Yeah, but sometimes, like I said, sometimes the crowds just don't like you. Yeah. Like I, the bit that I did last night, you know, with the dead parent stuff, it's like I've I've been working on that bit for I think what like fucking three months yeah i've seen it yeah yeah and like i still can't get it right you know because like it's it's a hard thing to talk about you know like not for me but for the audience right like they don't want to laugh at that you know but like like, i I have i have to do it in a way that makes makes it funny and like so i talked to the soldiers the whole time and they thought it was funny they they always eat it up yeah Yeah. they they like the dark shit you know the, the suicide shit whatever you know but like sometimes the crowd just doesn't like you and like Kevin Hart, I've read his autobiography, yeah. you know, like I've watched tons of interviews and he was like, one time I got hit in the face with a fucking chicken wing because <laughs> they thought that I sucked and they yeah. were like, get the fuck off the stage. And that's Kevin Hart. Yeah. We all look up to Kevin Hart. I don't care if you don't like Kevin Hart. If you're a comedian, you want you're to be fucking, famous like Kevin you Hart. You look you up to Kevin Hart. He's got like a hundred movies. Yes. Exactly. He's best friends with like, The Rock. I want yeah. to be best friends with The Rock. Right, exactly. We even be best friends with my like... rock hard dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, like it's just it. It is weird, you know. And like that's like I I know we're way over time, but um, like I just I, comedy is it, it, it's a love hate relationship, oh, you know. And and, and the, the fact that like it hates us, but we love it. Yeah. Well, and like because there's days you're gonna like there's open mics you'll watch everyone just take lashings and you just dread. I don't want to go up. On exactly. Stage. Yeah. Because like I'll watch you. I'll I'll sign up. I'm like I'm gonna sign up after Alex. Alex is gonna kill it tonight. And like the crowd just like I don't fucking want to talk yep. to you. And I'm like Alex just ate dick on stage. And now I gotta <laughs> follow. And now I gotta go eat dick too. You know too. what's even worse than that yep. is I do this. Uh, it's happened a couple of times out of cockiness, but it's also happened because I wanted to psych myself up. Like you know the first four or five, however many people in front of me, all go up there, bomb, eat shit. And so I'm like, all right, I'm going to do better. You're like going to bring said, up the crowd. Yeah, you're like, all right, I got this. I'm going to either, because A, I'm cocky and I'm about to have a reality check, or B, because that's the only thing keeping me from going up there and <laughs> looking like, oh, this sucks. <laughs> so, and then you're like, yeah, I got this. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to hit him with this, this, and that, because I've been watching everybody. I'm going to bring them all up and then go out there and do the thing. And everybody's just like, yep. I know. That's a worse feeling. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, and especially because, like, I know your comedy, you know, yes. like, I've watched you uh, for several months now, almost a year, I think. Yeah, and a year. Yeah, and you get personal, right? Mm-hmm. Like, with your brother and, you know, like, so – it's always the worst when you're like, I'm going to give you a piece of my soul, yeah. right? We're, we're going to make it funny, but 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 this is a piece of my, you know, like this is something that Sweet. I, yeah, that, that, it, it's not a one-liner like, oh, what happens when the fucking chicken co- crosses the road? You know, like, like no, <laughs> it's like, th- 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 this is a piece of, of my story. Mm-hmm. And when it's like, they don't like it, you're like, fuck well, me. God, yeah, I've, yeah, I've kind of backed off the dark stuff because one, I wanted to convince myself because I'm my own worst critic oh, absolutely. That, I, that I'm not just doing this for like shock and awe reactions and also because it is difficult to make it really, really funny. It, yeah. it is. Yeah, when it's it hard. Hits, man, it hits. The whole room goes. But uh-huh. when it doesn't, everybody's now awkward and you're like, <laughs> yeah, and they're like, I'm so sorry about your brother. It gets like, to the I'll point where you... myself now. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to join him. Like, and that's why I do the, the uh, I'm going to join the family business. I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. You know, and it's like, everybody's like, oh, you know, and it's like, this is my reality. You it gets know? to the point where you can count the eyes. You're like, yes. you're like this is going so bad. I'm sure I start counting. I mean, that is the good thing yep. about it is, you know, at that point, everybody's paying attention. Exactly. Yeah. Or you get the Jesus Christ in the background. You're like, Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm like, yes. Yeah. I don't even care. None of you laugh, but that one guy in the background gave me that. That's yep. all I care about. Yeah. It's a, you, do you guys watch Always Sunny? Yeah. So, yeah. so whenever it was like the night man cometh where he's like, you hear everyone <laughs> laughing. He's like, I'm not going for laughs. I'm going for gasps. Yeah. It's like, that's how I feel every time that I do my dark humor. It's like, let's, let's see how uncomfortable I can make this entire room. Or like, you just watch the people watch their feet. They're like, <laughs> you're like, yeah. oh, you're, you don't even want to look at me. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. Oh, wanna... My favorite's when they just leave. Uh. Yeah. See, I kind of want to like edge them, if you will. I know it's used out of context incorrectly. I don't care. Edge yeah, them. Just like, jerk it's like, them off. Imagine we're all standing like on a cliffside, and then I like do this, and we're like, huh. And then I pull them back and like give them a hug. Like, hey, it's going to be fine. We can laugh about this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. But I haven't figured out how to formulate it. To, it's it's got to be like a, a a formula where it goes into that humor, and then like these these jokes bring like, you know, reel them back in. Or right. Yeah, for sure. Just Garrett, I see you look, all the shit. Are you trying to, are you, you done? Trying to look at my dick. No, I was I was seeing a lot because this has been a very fun All right, fun I'll let episode. you guys go. No, hey, no. thanks for sticking around, guys. I hope you had a Have good a time. Going.
Uh, that yeah. was our audience, guys. Yeah, yeah. we had two people in. Like... Two people and Mel. Well, Mel's yeah. half a person. We could say now that uh, we've walked people on a podcast. <laughs> 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 they literally they they had two glasses of wine. They gave back and said, "Just give us a new bottle. We'll just they, take it." Home. Hey, they smile at us. <laughs> I know she she winked at me, and I was like, "Oh, oh. yeah." Yeah. Like, don't wink at Gary. He'll show his, he'll show you his one-eyed fucking monster. <laughs> Send it right to your phone. He doesn't even know your number, but he'll find it. <laughs> I'll airdrop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're that guy that shuts down a flight, you piece of shit. <laughs> he said, if you don't have an iPhone, I don't want you. That's why you were banned from the city of Philadelphia, because you just airdropped everybody in a 10-square-mile radius, you dick pic. <laughs> you're you dick. fucking piece yeah. of shit. And most of them were children. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> okay, nice. how... Well in there. Yeah. See, I was like, oh, let's have Alex on the podcast. That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be funny. And then, uh, this well, one. you know what? I had fun. <laughs> no, this has been this has been really fun. No, I appreciate you guys. And like I said, go check out Gary's episode in Jeremiah. We'll get you on there. Um, we'll t- we'll talk like after, after all of this. number one. No, you're not. Yeah, keep the lights on. That's my hey, goal now. Go I gotta listen to Jer- go, <laughs> no, go really listen to, to Gary and listen to Jeremiah's. It's coming. We're gonna we're gonna don't top fucking charts, listen to my baby. goddamn podcast. You don't listen to my fucking podcast. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Come after you. Adam gonna, Wolf. Adam Wolf. He's fuck gonna make you. his dick throw up all over you. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> and then I'm not gonna get to see a tiger. Fuck you, Adam Wolf. Yeah, Anyways, a tiger. this has been the Basuto <laughs> Triangle Podcast. You guys commit crimes, follow your dreams, and get follow, them a second. Follow your passions. Yeah. Passions. Commit. <laughs>